new era for American cricket began in 2021. There he goes into a dive, what a catch! The rise of cricket was celebrated across the country. Now, with big wickets and even bigger hits, the stuff got huge! Don't miss the nation's largest league competing for the biggest prize in American cricket. The Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship returns June 25th. You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship, presented by Sunoco. Hello. Hello, so a very good afternoon to everyone who's joining in live here from the Musa Cricket Stadium based out here in PLN, Texas. We have an exciting game going on today between the Dallas Mustangs and the Chicago Tigers. The weather conditions look good. The, the, we had the toss cut some time ago and the Dallas Mustangs have won the toss and they'll be batting in first year. And I have with me with my fellow commentator Tarun here in the commentary box. So Tarun, what do you think of the toss on Dallas? It was a good toss, two minutes, uh, nice conditions out here for batting first, and let's see what happened. Absolutely, Tarun. So Dallas Mustangs, they are currently top of the table, and Chicago Tigers are right behind them at number two. They have about three to four points difference between them, but this will be an exciting game here, going into the final stages of the uh, group stage here. The Dallas Mustangs have that two opening batsmen out there, Sushant Modani and Farhan Sahibzada. He seems like will be on strike here with the Chicago Tigers having the ball. So what are your thoughts on today? What do you think? How the game is going to go? Over? It's going to be a really, really good um, game today. You know, they both are uh, number one and number two teams. Um, good batting and bowling teams. Let's see what happens. Chicago will be looking to get the win here today, getting that gap closer to the Dallas Mustangs, making sure the the last few games, you know, will be closer enough so they can finish in the top spot. So let's see how this game fares here. The weather looks perfect, there's no sun, it's a bit cloudy, but it's good for the players out there, you know, no heat, because we have, we have been in the heat in the past week, so let's see how this game fares here. So 
Calvin Salvage will be the bowler for the... No, it's for Hans Sahibzadeh, I beg your pardon, will be on the strike. Here comes Calvin Savage, the first ball of the first ball of the match here, bowling to Farhan. Now the offside, umpire hesitates, and that'll be a dot ball. Decent start here from Calvin. He's trying to find his length here. First up, Calvin. Yeah, it was a cool, a close call for the uh, for a wide, but umpire makes the right decision. It was right over the line. Um, it was just the Savage trying to find his line and. Here comes Savage again. Farhan on strike. Well left there on Mother Club. Good angle of bowling here from Calvin Savage. From the last two balls, we can see uh, Calvin Savage. He's bowling um, uh, back of length, outside also. Maybe trying to play, um, make uh, the batsman play um, back foot punch or a cut. There's a deep, deep square leg in place here for Calvin Savage. Here he comes a third ball of the over. Left, left and wide, another dot ball here. Good, good start here for the Chicago Tigers. Three dot balls up. Yeah, yeah the pan is clear from Calvin Savage. He's pulling the uh, He's pulling away from the batsman, um, not giving the batsman any, you know, first up, the feel of the ball, um, trying to pull as many dot balls as possible. Absolutely, Calvin. So, the two fielders outside, the third ball is a play. Square level, so, so that's why he's trying to keep the angle tight here. Here comes Savage again. Well, they're almost close, close, close to the stumps here. Another close ball here. Very good over here from the Chicago Tigers. Three outside uh, of balls and one straight on his body, and he gets, gets the inside edge um, to find a fielder. That was a good, good ball from Calvin Savage. Absolutely, Absolutely. He's, he's making, making sure, sure you know, he's not, not giving enough room here for the batsman, batsman. making sure, keeping the pressure, pressure on the over especially. He has two, two more balls to go on this first brilliant ball so, so far. Here comes, comes Savage again, Farhan on strike. Well, well bowled again, and they'll take a quick single here. The Dallas Mustangs are off the mark. It was a straight one again. It was a quick single by the batsman. Good running between the wickets. They have a good understanding. I mean, they have an opening. The, the whole, whole uh, season, season now, now is the 11th, 11th game for them. them. Absolutely, I believe in, in the power play, the opening partnership, partnership uh, means, means a lot for each of the teams here. here. If they, they can get a good start, start you know, get, get at least 50-60 on board in the first six overs, and, first six overs and, and build on that in the next, next coming, coming overs. overs. Yeah, the, the power play sets the tone for both the teams, and it's really, really crucial, especially the first power play of the game. Here comes, comes Savage for his last ball of the over. He has been pretty good here, just, just giving out one run. So we're looking to end off a high here. Change of field here again. He seems to like bring out like a second, third slip in position of Calvin, trying to bowl that out swinging as we saw in the first two deliveries. He'll be in a closer to that first slip as well the first over. Well, well boring all play, but it finds straight to the fielder. A pretty good start here from the Chicago Tigers. Dallas Mustangs are one for no loss after the first two. We'll be back in a few seconds. One, two, three! Hello everyone, so from the PLN we'll, ha we'll have Randeep Aleti bowling here, right arm over the wicket, Farhan will be on strike again, facing the second over here. Here comes Rana bowling to Farhan. A 
good good shape of the ball here and uh, again a really good start from the Chicago Tigers here that was a good ball swing in um for Rana it was a good ball he bowled um not letting the batsman hit anything uh, swing the ball early and that's the key for Chicago absolutely it seems like for Rana is taking his time too making sure he doesn't play any loose shots here especially in the power play here comes Rana again right arm over the wicket well, pull down the legs are beyond passing was wide. Farhan missed out on that ball. If, if he got a little tickle, it was going for a four, but uh, it's still called the wide, and the ball will go another ball now. The pitch really seems good here for a good game of, good game of match here. Here comes Farhan again. Very well bowled here, but he couldn't stop that. They'll, they'll sneak a quick single here. One more run added to the Dallas Mustang score. Third. Yeah, the balls. Um, that it was a good shape swinging in again, and um, it's a quick single for Farhan Sarbel, and Shishant is on strike now, facing the second ball of his innings. Absolutely, the so Shishant hasn't played that that many balls so far here. He'll be looking to get the Dallas Mustang score going here. We'll be facing Rana for the first time in the game. Very well, Bull there from Rana. They will sneak another single here. Good running, good running the wickets for the Dallas Mustangs. Again, the Chicago, Chicago Tiger bowlers up, keeping it pretty tight here, making sure that Alex Mustang don't score any easy runs, easy boundaries in the power play. Here, here comes Rana again, this time for Rana on strike. Down the outside, a nice cover drive there from Farhan. And, and that will find the boundary, that's the first boundary of the cover drive here from, from Farhan. Brings the Dallas Mustang score into seven runs. It was bowled by outside of Farhan, goes across and plays a beautiful cover drive through extra cover. It's gone all the way for four. Good shot. That will settle the nose here for Rana. Rana, continue here. Right arm over the wicket now. Very well bored, and they'll take a single here. It will bring Sushant back on strike. Good ball and well played for a single by Farhan. Shishan is on type for Rana or a long on and a deep square leg. So what do you think he's about to go? As we've seen so far in this over, Rana has been bowling that inswing a pretty, pretty tight, you know, making sure. So I believe he'll be going for that. Here comes Rana again. The last ball of the second over. That's way down the outside for a wide as the Empire signals. Another extra, I'll have to reload that again. Uh, Rana tries a slower ball here, Did, does not wide on the offside, and he has to go another one. Shishan on strike again. The pitch, the pitch looks absolutely beautiful in the end Great, great amount of work to tell you from the Kiregas here in the New South Stadium. Here comes Rana, last ball of the second over. Well, Bolt, they're trying to sink a single, but a good throw there. So after the end of two overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 10 without loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. My son. He's so soft-spoken. Oh, yeah! Everyone says he's so good-looking. And he never forgets to call. I'm uh, born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. So it'll be Calvin continuing from the Macy bench end here. He bowled a beautiful first over, just considering one runs. Here he comes over the wicket, bowling to Farhan. Down the leg side of wide, a good stop there from the keeper. Saved a certain boundary there, and they'll sneak a single. So that's one runs plus the wide runs down here. Big wide from uh, Calvin Savage. Um, there was no way that the keeper could have stopped that single, but it was a good stop at the end, not letting the ball go to the boundary before. Some good keeping. 
As, As I, was I was mentioning, mentioning about the pitch, pitch Tarun, so what do you think about the pitch here? It's, it's a beautiful pitch, pitch you know, um, every, uh, the, the curators have done a really, really nice job as Savage coming in for his first ball. Down the leg side again, and it goes over the field, so four runs here again. The boundaries are coming thick and fast here for the Dallas Mustangs on the run. A little too straight from Calvin Savage, and... Sushant takes full advantage of it, hits it over the backwards square leg fielder for four. It was a good shot by uh, Sushant. Now that will be Sushant's first boundary now. That's out of his nose as well. So one boundary each for both, both players, players out there. Both the offense out there, Dallas Mustangs. Mustangs. Calvin is, is being very uppish, holding on the leg side of this over. Here he comes, comes again. That was very well bowled now, on down the offside, a dot ball here. That, that'll be the line he'll be looking to bowl here, right? Right, Tarun? That's the line Calvin Savage is looking for. He bowled really beautiful over, last over, uh, bowling that line every single ball except a couple. Th that was a good ball and he will be looking to bowl this ball. So Calvin continuing here. For his third ball of this second over. Onto the stumps, they'll take a single there. Brings Farhan back on strike. Quick single by the batsman. Um, the gap was fine nicely by, by Sean between the mid on and the short mid wicket fielder and taking one run. Dallas Mustangs are into the third over, score was 70 runs. Good thing is that they haven't lost a wicket, so they're going pretty good here so far. Here comes Savage, bowling to Farhan. Farhan tries to hit on the outside, but he couldn't connect. There was an outside edge, but it goes on the leg side. They'll take a single here. Good ball by Savage, Um, inside edge by Farhan Saibs. It goes to the final leg field. It's a good job stopping it, but still gives away a run. But it saves three runs, runs for his team. Absolutely. Fielding will be crucial, as we have seen in the previous match here. How fielding has been important for all the teams, you know. As we say, catches win matches. And, you know, if you score certain boundaries, you'll be scoring a lot of runs. Here comes Savage. Bowling his fifth ball of the over. Very well bowled there. A good shape and good angle there from Savage. And well, well played there from Sushant as well. Beautiful ball by Calvin Savage. Sushan looks a little bit, you know, surprised from that ball. It was a really, really good ball on the middle stump, and he plays it well, but a little bit surprised that the ball didn't bounce as much. Savage, he just considered nine runs. is into his second over, last ball of his second over coming up. Here comes Savage. Sushan on strike. Down the leg side, and that's flicked over. The field is able to stop it there. Good fielding there down in the deep scale like region. And they'll take a single. So after the end of three overs, the Dallas Mustangs, 19 for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. So Rana will be continuing from the PLN end. He considered nine runs of his first over. Here is he bowling his second overs on under trot. He'll be looking to sneak a wicket here, Tarun. Yeah, the fourth over of the game from the PLN end. Rana coming in for his first ball. Hint of in swing there. No run. That's a dot ball. Crucial there for the Chicago Tigers. Yeah, it was a good ball from Rana straight to the gully fielder. Um, the ball is swinging in for him now. Uh, it was a good ball. Here comes Rana again, bowling to Sushant Modani. Sushant comes down the track. Again, trying to sneak a single, but again, good fielding. That good field placement here from the Chicago Tigers. Two dot balls in a row. Some pressure on, on the Dallas Mustangs batsman. Tries to go across and 
find the gap uh, but is not successful uh, because the field position have been magnificent by the Chicago Tigers. Here's Rana again, right arm over. Slower one, the umpire calls out for a no ball there. No ball, ball from Rana, so that will be a free hit coming up here for the Dallas Mustangs. Pran Sahibzada will be on the strike for the free hit. He will be looking forward to swing the bat and get as many runs as possible. Um, we'll be looking for a six here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we see he has a deep mid wicket who's trying to come to the square leg region, but no, I think he the deep mid wicket comes around. There's a long gone in place, long gone and long off, it be I believe. So there, there are two fielders. So they're trying to make sure Farhan goes straight. Here comes Rana. That goes straight over the long on region, and that is the first six of the match here. The Dallas Mustangs have started hitting it, especially the free hit gives them the license to it. Six runs here from Farhan, and that's a welcome boundary here for the Dallas Mustangs, Tarun. Beautiful shot by Farhan, goes uh, up and across and hits it over mid-wicket for a big six. It was a full-length ball by Rana, and Farhan takes full advantage of it. Absolutely. This will bring out some pressure off his his shoulders. Here comes Rana again. Now the offside finds the fielder. Trying to sneak a single again there, but no, they'll get a dot ball here. Good comeback here from the Chicago Tigers. Good comeback by uh, Rana. It went straight to the fielder. Some good fielding. Um, the batters try to take a single there, try to take a quick single, but the fielder gives them no... Here's Rana again. Rana on strike. Fifth ball of the over. Hits it straight down to mid on. Oh, there's a long one there. The mid on went back. So they'll take a couple of runs here. Good running between the wickets here from the Dallas Mustangs. Beautiful running between the wickets from Dallas Mustangs. Um, good. Um. Absolutely. Sir. It's good running, you know. Especially in the power play. When you have all the fielders inside the circle, you need to make sure you don't give out such easy runs, easy couple runs or single runs. So here is Rana. This is his last ball of the over. They'll take a single here. Good throw there. So the Dallas Mustangs after the end of four overs are 30 for no loss. We'll be back after a few seconds. Dallas Mustangs are after the end of four overs, 30 runs for no loss, going about seven and a half runs per over so far. We have a change of bowling here for the Chicago Tigers. It'll be Sammy Sohail now bowling from the Macy Ranch end. Farhan on strike, who's currently batting on 17 runs of 14 balls. He's hit a boundary and a six, a big six of the free hit ball. And Sushant Mudani, he has got eight runs of his 11 deliveries faced. So here comes Sammy Sohail bowling to Farhan right up over the wicket. Gets smacked onto the covers here. That should race away to the boundary. Farhan gets another boundary to his name. The Dallas Mustangs are up and running here, Tarun. Another boundary here for them. Beautiful shot by Farhan Sahibzada. Hits it through covers for a four. And a welcome boundary for Sammy here. So Farhan moves on to 21 runs. He's scoring at a strike rate of 140. It's pretty good for a T20 game here. He's making sure they get the majority of the good runs here in the power play, Dallas Mustangs. So here, he's on strike here. He's trying to unsettle the baller here, Sammy Sohail. Scoring a boundary of his first ball. Here comes Sammy for his second delivery. Onto the stumps. They'll come back for a single here. 
and it will bring Sushant Modani on strike. Again, good coordination between the batsmen, taking a quick single. They trust each other so much that they can close their eyes and run. Here is Sammy again. He'll be bowling to Sushant here. Down the leg side, that'll be a wide a misjudgment there from the keeper, and they'll sneak a single here, an extra run here for the Dallas Mustangs. This is some sloppy keeping here from the Chicago Tigers, Sarun. Yeah, the keeper fumbled and they took a run. Um, it's, it's almost like a run, extra run of the wide. Yeah, this is something the Chicago Tigers won't want at this moment, especially. So here comes Sammy again. This time for run on strike. That's a very well bowled here from Sammy. Not enough room given here to the batsman. Dot ball here, crucial dot ball here for the Chicago Tigers. Sammy trying to angle the ball into the batsman uh, so that they tr try to go over square leg and that's why it's a deep square leg in place right now. Yes, Sammy again bowling to Farhan. That's a good comeback in this over here from Sammy. After going for a boundary of his very first ball, he's making sure he keeps the pressure tight here for the Chicago Tigers and the Dallas Mustangs batting. Farhan tried to go up and across, but hits the ball straight to the field. There was a confident shot off it. Here comes Savvy for his fifth ball of the over. On the outside, and finds straight the fielder. That's a pretty good superb catch there here from the fielder here of the Chicago Tigers. The first wicket goes down for the Dallas Mustangs. And it's Farhan Saibzala who goes for a well-made 22 runs, scoring off his 18 boundaries. And Sammy Sohel has broken the first wicket here. We'll be back in a few seconds here. Dallas Mustangs are 37 for 1. So that's a crucial breakthrough here. The Dallas Mustangs losing their first wicket. Chicago Tigers getting a wicket in the power play. What do you think, Tarun? How's they're going to plan ahead here? That was a big wicket of uh, Farhan Sahib Zada. Uh, he, Sammy saw him coming across, so he bowled a little bit wide and Farhan it's straight to short mid wicket. It was a good wicket for Chicago Tigers. That's what they wanted. Farhan was looking in a good and a fine touch here. Absolutely, Tarun. Farhan was the batsman who was going after the bowlers and the Chicago Tigers will be happy they took out the danger man out here in the power play. So we have the new batsman in here for the Dallas Mustangs. It is Sujit Gowda who will be on strike now saying Sammy Sohil, which will be the last ball of this fifth over here. Sujit has been the Mr. Dependable for Chicago. Um, uh, I beg your pardon, for Dallas Mustangs for a long time now, you know. He has been the, the key batsman for them. Absolutely. His expertise would be needed here for the Dallas Mustangs. If he plays at least the next 8 to 10 overs, you know, give a good scope, build a good good partnership with the batsman on the other hand, Dallas Mustang can run away with the target here, which they are focusing on. So here comes Sammy Sohail, a good change of bowling here, worked out here for the Chicago Tigers. Here is Sammy, his last ball of the over. So Jeet on strike, and he plays it well, and that's the end of the over. After the end of five overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 37 for one. So Dallas Mustangs have played their five overs. We have the last over coming up before the power play ends. And it'll be another change of bowling here for the Chicago Tigers. From the PLN end, we'll be, we'll be having Prithwish Patel bowling right up over the wicket. It'll be Sushant on strike. Prithwish bowling to Sushant in the block hole. And they'll come for a single here. Good throw there. Risky single there, Tarun, or is it? 
quick um, running between the wicket. It was a risky single. Uh, if it was directed, it, w- it would have been close. And it's a last over. They would be looking for at least 10-15 runs on this in this over. Absolutely. As we have seen in the league so far, 50-60 to 60 runs in the power play is a really good start here for any batting team. So it will bring Sujit on strike, facing Prithvish for the first time. The weather is absolutely beautiful here. A good game of cricket coming up here between these two absolute stunning teams here. Here comes Frithwish. Very well, that's an appeal here that might be missing the leg stump here. Nevertheless, a good appeal there for the Chicago Tigers. Close. It was a really close um, LBW chance, and I think the umpire makes the right call. Sujit Gowda almost got out of his second ball, and it's a really, really good start by Prithvi. Absolutely. He'll be looking to finish this power play strongly of the Chicago Tigers. Here comes Prithvish. Now on the offside, a cover drive. That was a beautiful looking cover drive here from Sujit Gowda. Four runs here to the Dallas Mustangs. Beautiful shot here. That was Slower ball and Sujit catches it uh, early and plays a beautiful square drive uh, for four. It's a beautiful shot at the end. Absolutely. They're going for at least a boundary each over, making sure you know they keep up on that run right here. So at the end, they have a good enough target to defend. Sujit settling his nose from Sprithwish again. Well bowled there. They'll take a single there. Bring Sushant on strike. Again, good rotating between the strikes here between the two batsmen now. Good running between the wickets. Um, hitting a four, Sujit got and uh, getting off strike right away. That's something a class batsman does. Here comes Prithvish. This time Sushant on strike. On the offside, it gives himself some room. Over the point region, there will be four more runs here for the Dallas Mustangs. And they're taking on this bowler here, especially being the last over of the power play. This will be four runs here for Sushant now. The Dallas Mustangs moving quickly towards the 50 runs in this power play here. Two boundaries of Prithvish over here. The Up and over by... S- uh up and over by Sushant. It was a slower ball again by Prithvish and sta- uh, Sushant pick it, picks it early and it's a door point fielder for four. Crucial two boundaries here for the Dallas Mustangs here. Making the full use of the power play. Prithvish would be looking to finish his over tight here. Here he comes now. Sushant on strike. They'll sneak a quick single here and there was a close one if it hit the stumps here. Quick single taken here from the Dallas Mustangs. After the end of six overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 48 for one. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the rock. For Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. After six overs up, 48 for one. We'll have another change of bowling here for the Chicago Tigers. Some left thumb or orthodox bowling here. Seems like Okari Sims will be bowling here from the Macy Ranch end. And it seems Sushant Modani will be on strike on the other end. Sujit Gowda, who played a beautiful boundary of that last over. 
So here comes Okari. He'll be bowling to Sushant. Yes, Sims. Now on the outside, umpire not inter interested. There'll be a dot ball here. Fair call there, Tarun. I think it was a good call by the umpire. It was really, really close, but I think it was on the line. Here comes Sims again. Sushant on strike. On the outside, he's tried to hit to the covers, but it finds straight to the fielder. Two dot balls to start off with here for Sims. You can see how fast he's going through his overs, trying to finish, a trying to finish his over as quickly as possible. That's been smacked onto that point region. They'll. That's a hesitation here between the two fill, two batsmen, and uh, he made it safe here. Some hesitation there for two runs, but they'll just take a single here. Good call there at the end from the batsman. Just a single there for the Dallas Mustangs. Sims has been a wicket-taking bowler for Chicago Tigers, and Sujit Gowda is on strike to face him. Good start to the over here for Sims. Here is left arm around, bowling to Sujit Gowda. Finds the fielder. Another dot ball here. Brilliant bowling here from Sims so far, Tarun. Arm ball by Sims to Sujit Gorda, you know, showing him that he has so many variations. Here he is, Sims. Fifth ball of his over. Now on the outside, that was a quick one here. Brilliantly bowled there from Sims again. Just giving out one run so far of his five balls. Another arm ball by Sims. Sujit Gorda not. Here comes Sims. Last ball of the over. Very well, Bowlier. They'll take a single. So that brings up the 50 here for Dallas Mustangs. After the end of seven overs, they are 50 for the loss of one wicket. We'll be back in a few seconds. So it was Prithvish Patel will be continuing here from the PLNN. They'll be looking for a good partnership here, Tarun, Sush Sushant and Sh Sujit. They'll not... Um. Here comes Prithvish. Sujit comes down the track, hits it straight down the ground. The long off player, actually the long one player steals it from the long off, so, but they'll take a single there. Actually a couple of runs there for the Dallas Mustangs. Good running running at the end and they would be looking for a partnership here uh, after the loss of Ferran Saib Zada not trying to lose any more wickets and make as many runs as possible absolutely the middle overs partnership is very crucial especially in a T20 game so that's what the Dallas Mustangs are bowling here comes Prithvish now very well bowl they'll take another single here straight to long on three runs of the first two balls here for the Dallas Mustangs making sure they're keeping the scoreboard ticking. Some good change of pace, uh, pace by Prithvish, bowling a slower one this ball. Some good bowling by Chicago Tigers. The single brings Sushant, Sushant on strike. Here comes Prithvish again. Again, gives him some, some room here, but the fielder is able to stop there. They'll be able to just take a single. One more run added to the Dallas Mustang score. It was smashed through covers by Sujit. Uh, not Sujit, I beg your pardon, by Sushant. But the sweeper cover fielder does well, stopping the boundary, saving three runs for his team. Sujit currently going runner ball. He scored nine runs of his nine balls, strike rate of 100 runs. So he'll be looking to up his innings here. Yes, Sujit on strike, but Twish bowling. He tries to hit it, upish. The long on fielder is coming underneath it. And it almost, it almost slipped out, but he takes, uh, hangs on to it. That's the second wicket here for the Dallas Mustangs. Good bowling here from Prithvish Patel. The Chicago Tigers have another breakthrough. This time, Sujit Gowda, he goes out for, after scoring nine runs. 
the Dallas Mustangs lose their second wicket for 54 runs and we are still in the 8th over of the innings. The ball went straight up in the air, went miles in the air and the fielder almost dropped it but takes a good catch in the end. Team like Calvin Savage in the long on region, he hold on to it. So a good breakthrough here for the Chicago Tigers. And is the captain Corey Anderson coming in uh, at number four? Absolutely, Tarang. It brings in the left southpaw, Corey Anderson, here in the middle. He'll be looking to build a partnership here now. Sushant has been up there since the start of this innings. So he'll be looking to build something up here with Sushant. You know, Corey and Sushant, a good, reliable. So the batsman crossed off that wicket of that previous ball. So Sushant will take the strike. Prithvish Patel will be happy of taking that wicket here of that previous ball here. Two wickets down here. We are into the 8 over. Dallas Mustangs are 54 runs. Sushant Modani currently has scored 16 runs, faced 18 deliveries with two boundaries. Sushant Modani will be looking to up his innings here, accelerate his innings. Here comes Prithvish. Right arm over. Sushant hits it on the leg side. He'll take a single. And it will bring the captain, Kobe Anderson, on strike for the first time this match. It will be the last ball of the 8th over. Prithvish Patel will be bowling to Kobe Anderson next. What are your thoughts, sir? Dallas would be looking for a good, um, a good run partnership between Corey Anderson and Sushant. And let's see what happens. Corey Anderson will be facing his first ball of the innings. Absolutely. The Dallas Mustangs will benefit from Corey Anderson's experience all over the globe here. He'll be looking to build on this and accelerate the innings for the Dallas Mustangs here in the remaining 12 overs to go here. So here comes Prithvish for his last ball of the over. Right now, Corey Anderson takes a quick single and he's off the mark. So the Dallas Mustangs, after the eight, end of 8 overs, are 56 for the loss of 2 wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. Lakshmi extra long basmati rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate bake kya khub khile. Ha, mere ghar lane ka. So we have Sims continuing from the Macy Ranch end. He'll be the captain, Corey Anderson, on strike here. He'll be bowling left arm over, fly it up the ball. Corey flicks it on the leg side. He'll take a single here. One more run added to the Dallas Mustangs score here, Tarun. Corey Anderson will be looking to get those singles in the beginning of his innings. And then after that, when he's watching the ball well, he'll be going for some big sixes. Again, change of angle for the right-hander here for Sims. Yes, Sushant. Now on the offside, upish, good fielding there in the in the middle there from the Chicago Tigers. Saved a cert certain two runs there. Good fielding and a dot ball, crucial dot ball here for them. So Sims is into his second over. He just considered three runs so far. He's been pretty consistent. Here comes Sims to Sushant. Over the top. 
The long off fielder is running after it, but he finds the boundary. That's four runs here for Sushant. A welcome boundary for the Dallas Mustangs here, Tarun. Beautiful shot by Sushant, just giving himself a little bit of room and hits it over extra cover for four. The long off fielder was chasing it, but the ball uh, got there first. It was a beautiful shot by Sushant. Absolutely, Tarun. So he moves on to 21 runs here, Sushant, facing 21 balls. Again, now he has a strike rate of 100 here. Here comes Sims again. Sushant on strike. Tries to sweep the ball, but it was straight to the field. A good field placement here from the Tigers. Arm ball by Sims, and Sushant picks it early, hits it straight to um, find like fielder, saving certain boundary here. Again, here comes Sims. Sushant comes down the track. There will be another boundary, one bounce into the fence. Four more runs for Sushant, and he's looking to accelerate his innings here for the Dallas Mustangs. Super boundary here, Tarun. Arm ball again by Sims. Sushant picks it early and comes down the track and hits it. Uh, it's a beautiful four over the bowler's head. What a shot that was. Absolutely, Tarun. It seems like Sushant is in the flow now. He's making sure he doesn't, you know, get away with uh, dart balls and singles. Here comes Sims. Last ball of the over. Flight at this time, but straight to the fielder. The Dallas Mustangs will be happy with that over. After the end of nine overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 65 for two. So it brings Rana back into the attack here. Corey Anderson will be on strike. Two gorgeous boundaries here from the previous over. Here comes Rana, right arm over the wicket. Corey Anderson on strike. Down the leg side, the umpire signals for a wide. Another run added, he'll have to reload that Rana. Corey Anderson, we can see that got a little bit tickle on it. Was gone for a boundary. Wide called by the umpire though. Here comes Rana again. Corey on strike. Comes on the track. They'll take a single there. One run added to the Dallas Mustang score. Brings Sushant, who had two gorgeous boundaries of the previous over on strike. What do you think the approach here is for the Dallas Mustangs now, Tarun? Sushant is looking in a really, really good touch here. He would be looking to accelerate, and Corey Anderson would be looking to give him the strike because Sushant is mingling the ball like there's nothing. Absolutely, Tarun. Crucial here will be Sushant to, you know, continue his form so far from the previous over. Here comes Rana. Again, Sushant coming down the track. That's been smacked down the ground. Four more runs here for Sushant. He's on the floor here. Seems like something happened. Exchange of words when Kobe Anderson came in the middle after that second wicket. What do you think that would happen between those two? Sushant probably just looking to make... Um, the run rate go a little bit up and Corey Anderson saying that I am here, you go for it and he hits a beautiful shot down the ground for four. Absolutely, Tarun. It's some gorgeous hitting here so far from Sushan in the last two overs. So here comes Rana again. Sushan will take play any loose shots here. Sushan giving him some uh, giving himself some room but Rana pulls a beautiful ball, but Sushan is good enough to just tap it and take a run. And that brings Corey Anderson on strike. In no time, Sushant had, has scored 30 runs now, facing 26 balls. So here comes Rana, bowling to the Dallas Mustangs captain now. So Rana to Corey, a slower one of the air, straight on to the dead meat wicket region. They'll take a single year. It was a good. It was a good slower ball by Rana, um, right there, and Corey Anderson plays it straight to deep mid wicket giving the strike to Sushant again who is hitting the ball. Absolutely. He's timing the ball really good here, Sushant. Let's see what he does next here. Here comes Rana bowling to Sushant. Again, comes down the track, but this time he just flicks it on the leg side. He'll take a single there. Good call there from Corey. 
That was a smart shot by Sushant. You know, he comes down the track, but he knows that he didn't reach, so he just uses his wrist and takes a run there. Absolutely no. It seems like a good partnership is building here between this two in the middle. Dallas Mustangs will be looking to at least reach that 100 runs with this two in the middle so far. So here comes Rana for his last ball of the over. Corey tries to give him some self for some room, but they'll take a single of that last ball. After the end of 10 overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 95 for two. We'll be back in a few seconds. My son, he's so soft-spoken. Oh, oh yeah! Everyone says he's so good-looking. And he never forgets to call. Hi, Mom. Born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. So the Dallas Mustangs going at about seven and a half runs per over. After the end of 10 overs, they have scored 75 runs, losing two wickets. But the crucial thing is a good partnership is building here between Cody Anderson and Sushant Modani. So it'll be Sammy bowling from the Macy Ranch to Cody Anderson. Here he comes, right arm over. Down the leg side, it hit the bat. The finger goes up. That's a big wicket. Cody Anderson has gone. That's a big, big wicket here for the Chicago Tigers. The Dallas Mustangs lose their third wicket. Corey Anderson trying to be naughty there. The keeper, a good catch here on the leg side. Corey Anderson, the pass for five, five for three. Beautiful catch by the keeper. Corey Anderson gets an edge there, and it's a big, big wicket as the dangerous man, the captain of Dallas Mustang, departs. So Sammy Sohail, he was a change of bowling that previous over. He took a wicket of his first over and again he's striking off his second over as well. Taking the dangerous Corey Anderson now, Sammy Sohail. Crucial wicket here for the Chicago Tigers. Dallas Mustangs now, they were looking to build a partnership but the new batsman in now is Hussain Talat, left-handed batsman, Sammy Sohail. What do you think his approach will be now, Tar Tarun? Uh, Hussein Tarat would be looking to get some singles, you know, giving the strike to Sushant Madani, who's looking in a really fine touch here. Absolutely, Tarun. Sami Sohail has been impressive so far. Here he comes, Sami, bowling to Hussein. Down the leg side again. The fielder was up in the circle. There'll be four runs, four runs of the first ball here for Hussein Talat, and he's off the mark straight away, Tarun. That was the shot Corey Anderson would, was looking for, but Hussein Talat plays a beautif um, beautiful flick, you know, executes it well, and it's gone all the way for four. Absolutely, Tarun. The fine leg was up in the circle, a short fine leg. That gave Hussein some timing there. So good four runs here to start off his innings here, Hussein. Here comes Sammy again. Right arm. Oh. This time down the offside for the left hand left-hander, and there'll be a single here. Again, it seems like Hussein has been in the middle from a long time after just even after just playing two balls. It seems like these two shots will give him confidence. You know, hitting a fir uh, four first ball and then a second ball, middling it, 
too long off for a single, and he looks like it looks like that he's a confident, a confident batsman right now. Sushant Mudani, on the other hand, will be looking to build on his innings. Here comes Sammy. Very well bowled here in the block hole. The long on fielder will take the ball, and there will be just a single here for the Dallas Mustangs. They were charging for a two, but the fielder does well in the deep, and only giving them one run, some good fielding at the end. So something to notice, Tarun here, Sammy Sohail has just given up 13 runs and taken three, two wickets. So he's into his second over here. Here he comes, bowling to Hussain. Very well paid here on the leg side here, between the two fielders, but they'll be able to cut it out, and they'll take a quick two here. Good running between the wickets for the Dallas Mustangs. Yeah, the batters are running hard, making ones into twos here. Some good running, putting some pressure on the field. Absolutely. Hussain seems like he's been batting since the start of the innings, the way he has been batting so far. It's good to see uh, his intent already. Here he comes, Sammy. Last ball of his over. Again, that same shot, similar shot. This time they'll only take a single. So after the end of 11 overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 84 for the loss of three wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. So the Dallas Mustangs are 84 for 3 after the end of 11 overs. It seems like Rana will go and is gone for 30 runs without taking a wicket. So he'll be looking to finish strong here, Tarun. Yeah, we'll be looking for getting uh, Hassan Talat out here. He's looking in a really, really good touch. See how it goes. So here comes Rana, this time bowling right up around to Hussain. Angling in there. Hussain again. He's being pretty confident, you know, it can be seen from his in batting intent here. He takes another single on the leg side here. Brings Sushant on strike. Hassan Talat, he's, he has been playing some confident shots. Um, confident and he wants to go big today. He looks hungry for runs. Absolutely, Tarun. He's already scored nine runs of his five balls. This time it is Sushant on strike. Here is Rana, right arm over now. Sushant comes down the track, Guy tries to be cheeky but it finds the fielder there and that's another wicket down for the Dallas Mustangs. Big, big breakthrough here for the Chicago Tigers. They lose their fourth wicket and this is the crucial one of Sushant Modani Tarun. What do you think? That was a really, really good uh, ball. That was good thinking by Chicago Tigers, Sushant uh, coming down the track, trying to hit over the extra cover boundary but fails. It's a straight to the fielder. Good catch. Absolutely, Tarun. Sushant goes for a well-made 32 runs of 28 balls. Beautiful five boundaries of those. But Dallas Mustangs now, they have lost their fourth wicket here. They still have eight overs to go. They'll be looking to build something here and not lose any more wickets in the coming overs. Sahim Malhotra is the new man in. We have seen him hit some big sixes. And we have seen both of these batsmen, Hussein Talat and Sahib Malhotra, to make some good partnerships, some winning partnerships for Dallas Mustangs. And let's see how they go. So as we are saying, the commentators curse earlier, like, you know, we are mentioning how Rana is into his last over, but he hasn't taken a wicket so far. And there he goes. Taking a wicket of the crucial, the big man, Sushan Modani, of that last ball here. Rana will be happy to make that breakthrough. He has four more balls to finish up his spell. Here he comes with the new batsman, Sahib Malhotra, on strike. Very well bowl, a dot ball here. Good tight bowling here from Rana. Beautiful bowling by Rana. Sai Malhotra just defending the ball straight to the bowler, giving himself some time to set. 
Absolutely. They wouldn't want to lose any wicket in the next three, four overs. Here comes run again. Very real ball and it'll take a quick single. The fielder hesitated to throw there, but he was not able to pick up the ball there. So that brings Sahib Malhotra off the strike and it brings he scores a run of his second ball. That was good running between the wickets. That was a there was a run out chance, but the fielder did not cleanly pick it. It was a uh, it was a good running between the wickets. Run now bowling to Hassan Talat. He has scored nine runs so far. Now on the off side for the left hander, will be a dot ball. Good finish here for the runner here. Sent his last ball of his fourth over. He's considered. 32 runs and picking up a crucial wicket of Sushan Modani of this over. So a good, good finish here for Rana. We'll be happy with that. As we can see, Hussain Talat is standing outside the crease here. He'll be looking to go after Rana of this last ball. Here comes Rana. A very real ball. There's an edge. Umpire seems interested. Yes, the finger goes up. Hussain doesn't look happy there. Another wicket here. Big, big breakthrough here again. Super finish here from Rana, especially in this over. The dangerous Hussain Talat goes after scoring nine runs and the Dallas Mustangs lose their fifth wicket. They are 86 for five. And that'll be the end of the over. After 12 overs, they're 86 for five. We'll be back in a few. So after 12 over Mustangs are 86 of 5, half of the team have gone. It brings the new batsman in. It is Noshtush Kenjige, who will currently be on the off striker's end. Sahib Malhotra will be on strike facing Sims. Sims, who has bowled two overs and just given out 11 runs, will be bowling to Sahib here. Left time around. Sahib on strike. Very well bowled here, left there from Saheb. Good arm ball by Sim Saheb, didn't pick that and just leaves that one alone. Here comes Sims again. Again very well bowled here. The two new batsmen in now, Nostos and Saheb, making sure they'll have to set up the batting here, you know. Build a partnership again from scratch. Here comes Sims again. Saheb on strike. There will be a single there. Soft the mark. Brings the new batsman Nostush on strike. Who I heard is a hard hitter of the ball, Tarun. Saheb and Nostush will be looking to get singles and doubles in the first three overs. And after that we'll try to go for some shots and reach to at least 150 runs. Absolutely, Tarun. It will be crucial there for these two batsmen to stay in the middle until the end here. Because the Dallas Mustang to have a good score. Here comes Sims now. Down the offside, that was a clear wide, as indicated by the umpire. Sims will have to reload that ball again. The umpiring has been really good uh, so far in this match. Absolutely, Tarun. Here comes Sims. Quick one there. And Nostos will finally get off the mark. Getting off the mark on your first ball gives the batsman confident and uh, confidence, and let's see what, what Nastosh does after that run. Sai Mulotar is on strike now. Here comes Sims now. Flight it up. Nostos says no, so Saib goes back into the crease. So uh, there'll be a dot ball, last ball of the thirteenth over coming up. Again, a good tight over from Sims. 
your come sims last ball of the over a full toss there but he couldn't capitalize on that they'll just take a single so after the end of 13 overs the Dallas Mustangs and 9 toss of 5 wickets will be back in a few seconds what's up Doug what got into you <laughs> at Sunoco we know how to fuel peak performance fuel your best A change of bowling here, Sammy after being brilliant on the previous over taking two wickets, now it brings Prithvish in the attack now. Prithvish Patel will be bowling from the PLN end. It will be Sahib Malutra on strike. Here comes Prithvish, right arm over. It's in on the leg side. Yeah, it's the second game between these two teams, Dallas Mustangs and Chicago Tigers, and Dallas would be looking for a win as Chicago won against them last time. Absolutely, Tarun. They'll be looking to repay that, you know. That is the only game they have lost so far, Dallas Mustang, this season. They'll, they'll be looking to bring that back and get that win over at the end of the day today. Here comes Prithvish. Nostros on strike this time. Fire it up. And that's an absolute, almost a stunner there in the point region. Beautiful, great attempt there from the fielder down the point region from the Chicago Tigers. That was a really good slower ball. Uh, and it went, it went hard at the fielder's uh, hands, but it was a really, really tough catch. It was really good that he uh, attempted that, but it was a very, very hard chance. Absolutely. And great attempt there. The Chicago Tigers fielding has been absolutely tremendous. Here comes Prithvish. Nostrich on strike. Flex out on the leg side. He'll take a single there. Again, as, was, as I was mentioning, Tarun, the fielding of Chicago Tigers so far has been brilliant so far. What do you think of there? It has been magnificent so far, you know. The, field, the fielders are backing their bowlers and bowlers are getting confident because of that. Absolutely, Tarun. Here comes Prithvish again to Sahib, who comes down the track. But the call is for two and Sahib sends nostrils back they'll just be happy with a single there it was good running between the wickets but good fielding again at the deep by the deep square leg fielder only giving one run absolutely they are covering the meters pretty fast so they don't you know sneak another convert once into twos here so good fielding again from the tigers here comes Prithvish now on the offside Again, brilliant fielding down there in the point region. This has been absolutely tremendous here, Chicago Tigers, their fielding. We have seen the last three balls. They have been fielding so well. They're making the Dallas Mustangs work hard for their runs here, Chicago Tigers. Here comes Frithwish for his last ball of the over. It'll be just a single, another tight over here for the Chicago Tigers. After the end of 14 overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 94 for 5. We'll be back in a few seconds. What is the Lakshmi Basmati Rice? Ko ghar ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Is the Har Dana ho itna lamba? Pakte hue meke. Or plate bake ya khoop khile. Ha! Mere ghar lane ka. Looking at the bowling of Chicago Tigers so far, Calvin Savage has bowled two overs, just conceded 10 runs. Rana has bowled his four overs, taking two wickets, and giving out 32 runs. Now here comes Sims now. He'll be bowling from the Macy Ranch end. He's into his final over, just given out 15 runs, five runs per over, so there'll be another single there. One more run here for the Dallas Mustangs. We can see Sims, he has been running through his overs, not giving the batsman any time to think what, is about, what he's about to do. Absolutely, Tarun. Just giving out 16 runs into his fourth over is pretty impressive here from Sims. Here he is again, he slips, but that'll be a, crucially a dot ball here for the Chicago Tigers. 
Well bowled by Sims. Um, he slipped, but still not giving any runs off that ball. And some good bowling by him. Having an economy of five in a T20 game is pretty good. Here comes Sims again. Smacked on the offside, but again straight to the fielder. Another single there for the Dallas Mustangs. Will be nostrils on strike now. So they're currently rotating strikes between themselves, nostrils and Saib. What do you think, Tarun, the strategy is right now? Not to lose the wicket and go for in the last four over. Absolutely. Here comes Sims again. A full toss, but again, not capitalizing on that again. So they'll just be happy with the single now. Sims is not giving any pace of the ball, making the batsman do the hard work and making them, um, only giving them one runs and not any boundaries. Here is Sims bowling to Sahib Malhotra. Down the offside, a clear wide there as indicated by the umpire. He'll have to bowl that one against Sims. He has two more balls to go to finish his spell and finish the 15th over of this innings. Here comes Sims again down the offside, but they'll be happy with the single there. Again, Dallas Mustangs are have scored 99 runs, you know, one shot of that 100 run mark. So here comes Sims for his last ball of the over. Nostrils on strike. Smashes it, it dissects the two fielder there. That should reach the boundary. Yes, it does. And that breaks up the 100 here for Dallas Mustangs. Brilliantly played there from Nostrils. After the end of 15 overs, the Dallas Mustangs 103 for the loss of five wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. Welcome back everyone. So the Dallas Mustangs have five more overs to go in their innings. They have reached 103 runs, losing five wickets. It will be crucial for Sahib and Nostush to stay till the end or at least have a, de a dependable and a good score they can you know, defend at the end. So here comes Prithvish. Good ball and another dot ball here. Prithvish again, he has been pretty economical so far for the Chicago Tigers. He's into his final over. He has just given out 21 runs and picking up a crucial wicket. What do you think so far, how it's going so far, Tarun? It has been really, really good bowling by um, Chicago. It's going to Chicago's way so far. Here comes Prithvish again. Sahib on strike. A slower one off the air there. They'll just take a single. Brings Nostush, who hit a beautiful shot of that last ball of the previous over four runs. He'll be looking to build on that and get As I say, here comes Sahib on the other hand is has scored seven runs facing thirteen deliveries. So they'll be looking to up the ante here for the Dallas Mustangs and accelerate the innings at some point here. Here comes Prithvish. That's a good pull shot here. That should go all the way. It does. Six runs here for Nostush. A welcome six after a long gap here for the Dallas Mustangs. Crucial six runs. Six runs here, Tarun. That was a big six by Nostush. You know, Prithvish bowling a short ball and Nostush takes full advantage of it. Goes over a deep score like for a six. It was a beautiful shot and maybe the shot of the evening so far. Absolutely. That was just glorious to see the way he pulled that off. Prithvish a little too short there, but Nostush picking it up at the right time. Good timing there. All over the fence. Six runs. He moves on to 15 runs, scoring a boundary and a six. Just facing 10 balls. So he'll be looking to be the finisher for the Dallas Mustangs in this innings here. He's gone for 28 runs into his fourth over. 
two more balls. Here's Prithvish bowling to Nostrich again. This time well bowled. They'll just be happy with a single. Brings Sahib Malhotra back on strike. It was a nice pitched up ball by Prithvish and Nostos just flicks it to deep mid wicket boundary for uh, for a single. Here comes Prithvish, last ball of the over. Slide it up, but they'll just take a single of that last ball. So after the end of 16 overs, the Dallas Mustangs are 112 for the loss of 5 wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. So the Dallas Mustangs are 112 for 5, 4 more was to go of this first innings. They'll be looking to finish off with a bang here. Calvin Savage, the captain who started off the over, bowling 2 overs in the power play, will come back to finish it off of the last two last 4 overs, bowling two, definitely bowling 2 overs of those. So here comes Calvin Savage bowling to Sahib Malhotra, right arm over the wicket. Very well played, but it finds straight to point, and there'll be an extra run here. Again, no backing up there for the Chicago Tigers. They sneak a single there. Dallas Mustangs. Over through. It was a good. It was good. Um, fielding by the point fielder. If there was a direct head, it would have been really, really close. It was not good this time. So here comes Savage again. Very well bowled. They'll take a single, looking for a single. The call is for two, not no, but Nostush sends Sahib back here. They'll be happy with the single now. Good fielding again at the deep by the deep square like fielder, only giving the one run. So Calvin Savage, he has been pretty impressive also. He's into his third over, just giving out 12 runs. So he'll be looking to finish off economical year of his remaining 10 balls. Here comes Savage, Sahib on strike. Down the leg side, a good stop there. Hint of a shout there, but that was definitely missing the leg stump. But a good stop there from the wicket keeper. Saved a certain four runs there, Tarun. Yeah, leg bias called. It was a really, really big stump completely. The good thing for the Dallas Mustangs is Nostrush, who has hit pretty good boundaries in the last two overs on strike. He'll be facing the Chicago Tigers captain Savage. So very Savage bowling to Nostrush. Very well bowled there and a good stop. Good, good leading from the front here from Calvin Savage. Dot ball there. It's not hard to stop. Uh, uh, it's very, very hard to stop that. You know, he's running in in his follow through, and it's going away from him. But he dives and stops the ball. Some good fielding, Calvin Savage, leading from the front here. Absolutely, Tarun. He's making sure he has that figure, the tall, flamboyant figure. He's making the full use of it here. So he has a long one in place, but and a mid off. So there's no long off. A mid off comes in. A long one in place with a deep square leg. Here he comes Savage. Nostrush on strike. Down the leg side. Again, that might be missing the leg stud. There'll be some more extras here for the Dallas Mustangs. Good field placement. They have a deep fine leg after seeing that four. Um, he is angling in into um, the batsman's pads and just giving them one run there.
Chicago Tigers have given out about 12 extras in this innings, 9 wides, a no ball, and about 2 leg pies. Two more balls to go of this over. Savage has been pretty tight so far. Here he comes bowling to Sahib Malhotra. Right arm over. Down the leg side, going with the batsman there, making sure it doesn't give them enough timing. Another single here. Good bowling, good bowling here from the captain. After the end of the second over, the Dallas Mustangs are 117 for the loss of five wickets. We'll be back in a few. My son, he's so soft spoken. Oh, oh yeah! Everyone says he's so good looking. And he never forgets to fall. I'm uh, born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. So three more was to go up this first innings. The Dallas Mustangs have so far scored 117 runs. They'll be looking to finish off with a bang. Sammy Soel, who has been the pick of the bowlers here for the Chicago Tigers, he will be finishing off his two overs most likely. He has given out 16 runs and picking up two crucial wickets in one over. So here is Sammy Sohail. He'll be bowling to Saeed Malhotra, who will be on strike for the Dallas Mustangs. Sammy will be bowling right arm over. Here comes Sammy. A full toss and that's been smacked. But the long on fielder comes around and picks up the catch. Sammy Sohail, as we have seen throughout this match, has been a through ball over Chicago Tigers. And he comes into the attack, picks up another wicket. Even though it was on a full toss, Sahib Malhotra will be disappointed with himself there. Six wicket goes down for the Dallas Mustangs. Sammy Sohil picks up his third. The Dallas Mustangs are 117 for the loss of six wickets. It was a full toss, a ball to hit, but there was no timing by Sahib Malhotra. The ball goes straight up in the air and a good catch by the long on fielder. Absolutely, Tarun. So it seemed like the message was clear. The last three overs coming up, the Dallas Mustangs just at least go for a boundary of the first bowler, first ball, unsettled bowler of his first ball. So it brings the pressure back on him, but it didn't work out in their favor this time. Saib Malhotra has to go back to the pavilion. He scored 11 runs, facing 18 deliveries. It, and it now brings the hard hitter Ali Sheikh in the middle. He will be joining Nostush for what we see the last 2.5 overs here. And again, Sammy, as we have mentioned, he has been pretty impressive, has been amazing so far this match. Picking up three big wickets. He's actually taken three wickets of the last seven balls he, balls he has bowled. So here he is. He'll be bowling to Nostush, who will be on strike here, facing him for the first time. Here comes Sammy. Very well bowled again. Call is for a one and they'll be happy with the single. It will bring the hard hit Ali Sheikh on strike here. What do you think his approach will be, Tarun? Ali Sheikh, he's a young, talented lad. He can go big anytime he wants. It's almost like um, if he wants to hit a six, he hits a six. If he wants to defend the ball, he defends the ball. That's good turn, but I don't think he'll be looking to def defend here, especially it's just about two odd overs to go for the end of the innings. So let's see how the approach here for Ali Sheikh is. Here comes Sammy now. He'll be bowling right up around to Ali. Comes down the track. He's showing his intent already. What a start here from Ali Sheikh, and that's gone for six. A six of his first ball, Ali Sheikh. Dallas Mustangs have found a finisher here in Ali Sheikh Tarun. You are absolutely right. He has gone for it, Tarun. What do you think is going to happen next? Ali Sheikh going um, from the first ball, as I was saying. Um, whenever he wants, he can change the game, hitting six on the first ball. Next ball, he would be trying to go for it again because there are only three overs left. Not even three, two and a half overs left. Here comes Sammy again. Ali Khan unsettled the bowler, comes down the track again, but he couldn't connect this time. But they'll take a single, they'll... Call is for two. Good running now between the wickets. 
That'll be quick two runs again. He was inside. Umpire not interested. Good running here again, Tarun. Very good running by Nastosh. Calling for two. And they make it. And some good running. And Ali Sheikh is again on strike. He has eight runs of just two balls with a strike rate of 400 with a six. Absolutely. The intent is clear here for Ali Sheikh. Here comes Sammy again. He comes down the track on the outside this time. Again, good running between the wickets. Two more runs. He just ran right, flashed there. Good running, Ali Sheikh. Very good running between the wickets by both the bats when they're making ones into twos here and putting some pressure on the fielders now. So very, very good running. Sammy, who has been pick of the ball for Chicago Tigers, is looking under pressure now, especially with Ali Sheikh whenever Ali Sheikh is on strike. Here he comes. Last ball of the over. Sammy to Ali. Ali comes down again on the leg side, flicks off. There's a fielder down there. This time they'll just be happy with a single. The crucial thing will be he'll be on strike for the next over. After the end of 18 overs, Dallas Mustangs are 129 for six. We'll be One, two, three. So the last two hours coming up for the end of the first innings. It will be the captain bowling the penultimate over. He has gone for just 13 runs of his three overs. He'll be looking to finish strong here. But the crucial thing is he'll be facing the hard hitter Ali Sheikh who is average bowling right arm over Ali Sheikh on strike. Again dancing down. He flicks it up but it falls between the fielders. Save, he's saved there. He'll be happy with the single. It'll bring Nostosh on strike. Both of these batsmen are looking in a really good touch here. Nostosh hitting a six, uh, hitting a hook for a six, and Ali Sheikh hitting a six over cow corner. It will be interesting to see what Nostosh does on this ball. Absolutely, Nostosh is batting on 18 runs, facing 15 balls. Meanwhile, Ali Sheikh, after facing five balls, has already moved on to 12 runs. So Nostosh. So here comes Savage, the Chicago Tigers captain, bowling on to Nostosh. Again, as we've seen here, as Nostosh tries to hit it on the up, it feels between the three fielders down there, and they take good, quick two runs, good running again, and making sure they get as much runs as possible in this last few overs. Tarun. In these last two overs, running has been the key. They're running hard and putting pressure on the fielders. Absolutely, Tarun. That's the main goal here. Just 10 more balls to go in the over. So he'll be looking to finish strong here. So here comes Savage. Nostosh on strike. That's a beautiful shot here. It goes in the deep mid wicket region and that has gone all the way. Six runs here for Nostosh this time. He's joining the party with Ali Sheikh. And the Dallas Mustangs are looking in the mood now. In the last few overs, six more runs added to the Dallas Mustangs to score. Nasto hitting it up and over to the vacant deep mid wicket region. It's a beautiful shot. It was gone high in the air, but clears the boundary for a big six. Absolutely. Now it seems like the target in the region between 150 to 160 is definitely possible as long as these two batsmen are in the crease. So Nasto. Moving on to 26 runs. That is his second six of the match so far. So here comes Savage. Bowling on to Nostrich again. Dancing down the track and being very cheeky there. There'll be four runs. Very cheeky there from Nostrich again. Calvin Savage not happy. As it should be. And then four more runs for Dallas Mustangs. They move on to 142. And this is a crucial, crucial over here for the Dallas Mustangs. That was a smart shot by Nostrich. Uh... Calvin Savage to, uh, removed his uh, deep third man, putting a deep mid-wicket, and he bowls the same ball, but Nastosh gives himself just a little bit of room and hits it through the third man, and 
the keeper for a four. Again, Nostruj and Ali seems like they both have the capabilities to be a finisher here for Dallas Mustangs, and they've shown it so far. We have eight more balls to go of this innings. Here comes Savage now. Oh, he tries to hit. Ali Sheikh survives there, but there'll be a single. Nevertheless, brings the dangerous Ali Sheikh back on strike here for the last ball of this. Calvin Savage is over. Nastosh giving himself a little room and Calvin Savage following him. That was a good ball and only one run toward long on. Here is Ali Sheikh. He'll be definitely looking for a boundary here of this last ball here. So here comes right arm over to Ali. Call is for two, but they'll just be happy with a single. So after the end of 19 overs, the Dallas Mustangs move on to 144 with a loss of six wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds for the last over. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. So the last over of the first innings coming up, the Dallas Mustangs have scored 144 runs the crucial thing is the two hard hitters, Ali Sheikh and Nostrush Kenjige, have been in the middle and they're making sure the Dallas Mustangs get a defendable target out here in the middle. It'll be Sammy Sohil bowling his last over of his spell. He's gone for 28 runs, picking up three wickets. He'll be looking to finish strong here for the Chicago Tigers. So here comes Sammy Sohil. He'll be bowling on to Ali Sheikh, who'll be looking to go after him as they did in the previous over. From the field, we can see that Sammy will try to bowl everything outside off as he does not have a deep square leg. Here comes Sammy now. Ali Sheikh on strike. The bowler wide runs here. He'll have to bowl that against Sammy. Five more runs until they reach 150 at Dallas Mustangs. They're looking good for a par score of one. They would definitely be trying to reach 160. Here comes Sammy now. Ali again dancing down the track. And he hits it, connects it well, but it finds the fielder in the long on region. Tried to go for it again. Sammy Sohail, as we have seen again, the breakthrough bowler. He breaks through again here for the Chicago Tigers. And the Dallas Mustangs lose their seventh wicket. And something to note here, Sammy Sohail, this is his get of the match. Ali Sheikh, the dangerous Ali Sheikh, goes after scoring a quick fire 13 runs. So five more balls to go for this innings. Dallas Mustangs. Ali Sheikh connected the ball well but did not get enough elevation. It went straight to the f uh, long on fielder. And some good bowling by Sammy. Absolutely, Tarun. He went for a few boundaries of the previous over but he has come back strong here in this over. So we have five more balls to go in the end of the innings. Here comes the new batsman in for the Dallas Mustangs. Adnan Harun is in the middle. He'll join Nostosh for this last over onslaught here if we see that. Adnan would be looking to give the strike to Nostosh because he is looking in a really, really good touch and he's middling everything. So here is Sammy Sohail now. He'll be looking to finish strong as we have mentioned. So here he comes. This time Nostosh will be on strike. Here is Sammy to Nostosh. A full toss and that's been smacked on the leg side but he couldn't connect it properly. The fielder is able to cover it. They'll just take a single there. There was a full toss but there was no timing by Nostosh. Only one run there. It was a good chase by the deep score leg fielder but he was nowhere near it. 
but still only giving one run there. Absolutely, an opportunity missed there for Nostos, we can say. Because he's looking as the finisher here so far for the Dallas Mustangs. It will bring Adnan Harun on strike. He'll be facing his first ball now. It's crucially coming in the last hour of the innings. So let's see what his approach here is. So Sammy now, right arm over to Hanan. So one on the off. The call is for two and they'll easily take a couple of runs here. Two more runs added to the Dallas Mustang score. Good slower ball by Sammy and the batter just goes over extra cover. Absolutely. Sammy would be looking to not concede a boundary of this last three balls, making sure he finishes strong, even though he has taken four wickets here. So here he comes, Adnan Harun on strike. A slow run again, well bowled from Sammy. We just be a single now. Brings Nostosh on strike, most likely going to face the last two balls of this innings here. Nastosha is on strike. He is looking really good here. He has 32 runs in just 20 balls with two fours and two sixes. It's the second last ball of the innings coming up. Here is Sammy now, Nastosh. And that's been smacked again. Again, this time finds the fielder. So that is a five wicket haul here for Sammy Sohil. Brilliant bowling again. This time he gets the crucial man, Nastosh, out. One more ball to go to for the innings though, but that is a brilliant bowling performance here from Sammy Sohail for the Chicago Tigers. Young lad Sammy Sohail, this will give him a lot of confidence getting a Pfeiffer against a team like Dallas Mustangs and he has been bowling really, really well so far. Absolutely, this has been the performance of the day so far if we can see in this first inning, Sammy Sohail. He has taken five wickets, just conceding 33 runs here. Here is the last ball of his, the Dallas Mustangs, 149. They will be looking to reach that 150 score here of that last ball. Nasir Jamali comes here, but he'll just be on the non-striker's end for the last ball. Adnan Harun, who also recently came, will face the last ball of the innings. So here comes Sammy. Sammy bowling to Harun. Last ball coming up. Well, he's pulled him up. What a brilliant spell here from Sammy Sohail. He picks up six wickets of his four overs. Just giving out 33 runs. Adnan Arun going fancy, going, trying to go for the big one, but he couldn't find the bat. So the Dallas Mustangs finish for 149 runs, losing nine wickets. But the pick of the pick of the inning so far has been Sammy Sohail. He's been the performance so far here, Tarun. Sammy Sohail, it will make him feel so good. Six wickets. non Harun try to go, but Sammy Sohail just cleans him up on the last one. Kenjinge, who scored 32 runs of 21 balls. Also, Sushant Modani, who scored another 32 runs. Followed by the Chicago Tigers bowling of Calvin Savage in his four overs. Giving out 28 runs, not paying above wicket. Rana Deep, four overs, 32 for two. Prithwish Patel, 4 overs, 30 runs and a wicket. Sims bowling is 4 overs, giving out 24 runs. But the pick of the bowlers, as I mentioned, Sammy Sohail. In his 4 overs, he considered 33 runs, but the most important, picking up 6 crucial wickets. And there'll be a big boost when the Chicago Tigers come out to bat here. So the Chicago Tigers, they would need 150 runs to win of the 20 overs. So we'll be back for the second innings in a few seconds. Easy boundaries on the power play. play. Here, Here comes Rana again. This time, time Farhan on strike. Down the outside, a nice cut right there from, from Farhan. Down the leg side again, and it goes over the field. So four runs here. Run around the wicket. Farhan hit the ball. That goes straight over the long run region. The that smacked onto the covers here. That should race away to the boundary. Farhan gets Sammy. for his fifth ball of the over. On the offside. And finds straight the fielder. That's a... Here comes Prithwish. 
Now the offside a cover drive. That was a beautiful looking cover drive here from Sajid Kaura. Here comes Prithvish. This time Sushant on strike. On the offside, he gives himself some room over the point region. That'll strike be Prithvish bowling. He tries to hit it. Upish. The long on fielder is coming underneath it. And so far, it's been pretty consistent. Here comes Sims to Sushant. Over the top. The long off fielder is running after it, but it finds the boundary. Here comes Sims. Sushant comes down the track. There will be another boundary. One bounce into the fence. He knew his form so far from the previous over. Here comes Rana. Again, Sushant coming down the track. That's been smacked down the ground. Four more runs. Easy wrench to Corey Anderson. Here he comes, right arm over. Down the leg side. It hit the bat. The finger goes up. That's a big wicket. Here comes Sammy. Bowling to Hussein. Down the leg side again. The fielder was up in the circle. There will be four runs. Four runs. Of this time it is Sushant on strike. Here is Rana. Right arm over now. Sushant comes down the track. Kai tries to be cheeky, but it finds the here, he'll be looking to go after run off this last ball. Here comes Rana. A very well ball. There's an edge. Umpire seems interested. Nostrils on strike this time. Slide it up. And that's an absolute, st almost a stunner there in the point region. Nostrils on strike. Smashes it. It dissects the two fielder there. That should reach the boundary. Yep. Here comes Prithvish. That's a good pull shot here. That should go all the right way. Over. Here comes Sammy. A full toss and that's been smacked. But the long on fielder Wheel comes bowling right up around to Ali. Comes down the track. He's showing his intent already. What a start here from Ali. Nostrils on strike. That's a beautiful shot here. It goes in the deep mid wicket region. Bowling onto Nostrich again. Dancing down the track and being very cheeky there. There'll be four runs. Very cheeky. Here comes Sammy now. Ali again dancing down the track. And he hits it, connects it well, but it finds the fielder. Innings in the coming up. Here is Sammy now, Nostrich. And that's been smacked again. Again, this time finds the fielder. Innings. So here comes Sammy. Sammy bowling to Harun. Last ball coming up. Very well, boy, he's pulled him up! What a brilliant spell here from Sam! You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship, presented by Sunoco.
You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Championship presented by Sunoco. Hello everyone, welcome back to this exciting game here from the Musa Cricket Stadium in PLN, Texas. We have the Dallas Mustangs playing the Chicago Tigers out here. The Dallas Mustangs in their first innings were able to score 149 runs and the Chicago Tigers have a target of 150 runs so that is about 7.5 runs per over to score of the 20 overs. So we have the two opening batsmen of the Chicago Tigers out, out now, Karan Kumar and Charan Saiteja who will be facing the first ball of Nasir Jamali from the Dallas Mustangs who will be bowling from the PLN and here. What are your thoughts? How would What's going to happen, Tarun? What do you think? Masil Jamalia, experienced campaigner. It's the first ball, the second innings. That was a nice shape there of the ball from Nasir Jamalia. Well left there from Charan Saiteja. Good start here for the Dallas Mustangs. Nasir Jamali swinging the ball away from Saiteja. And it was a good ball at the end. Saiteja just leaving the ball goes to the keeper. Charan Saiteja, the left-handed southpaw here for the Chicago Tigers. Here comes Nasir Jamali, the pick of the bowlers here for the Dallas Mustang. A beautiful outswinging delivery there. Charan Saiteja tried to go for it, but he couldn't find the bat there. Another dot ball here. Tarun. Good ball by Nasir Jamali. Saiteja just trying to cut the ball through the point region here, but completely misses it. Some good piece of bowling so far. Absolutely. Nasir Jamali has been crucial for the Dallas Mustangs in this season so far. The pick of the bowlers, especially in the power play overs. Here he comes again to Saiteja. Again, that, that's a beautiful shape and angle, that outswinger here. I believe, what do you think of having a slip there here for Chai? And swinging the ball away and he is doing some r uh, good lengths here. So I think they should have had a slip, but Corey Anderson is an experienced campaigner. He knows what is going on. Absolutely, Tarun, as you mentioned. They do have two fielders out. It seems like a third man and a deep square leg here for Saiteja. Here comes Jamali again. Variable, and that was that shape. Nasir Jamali is getting the most out of this new ball here. Four dot balls to start off it for the Dallas Mustangs. Again, swing the ball away from Saiteja, and he tried to cut it through point region again, but missed it again. It's a good start for Dallas Mustangs. Yeah, leading from the front here, Nasir Jamali, first over, he's the strike bowler, so making sure, giving not the other bowler some confidence here with his bowling here, Nasir Jamali. Here he comes now, Saiteja Teja, would be have some nerves on his hands here, still to get off the mark. Here he comes, Jamali to Saiteja. Teja. A mess up in the run up there, no worries there, says the umpire. But again. What do you think about the weather here? It's a beautiful weather out here in PLN, Texas. Absolutely. The weather has been so nice and it is a beautiful day to play cricket. Uh, Saiteja gets ready for the fifth ball of the over. Here comes Jamali. Can very well bowl there. You can see that shape and swing here and see Jamali is able to create. So Saiteja will get off the mark. First runs on the board here for the Chicago Tigers. Swing the ball away from Saiteja five times in a row is excellent from Jamali. It will now bring the right-handed batsman Karan Kumar on strike. Nasir Jamali will continue bowling left arm over to him. As we have seen so far, the ball will shape into the right-hander and let's see what length Jamali bowls. You have an interesting contest here between the left arm seamer and the right hand batsman. Here's Jamali. Very well bowled here. Brilliantly bowled to finish off the over. After the first over, the Chicago Tigers are one for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Timeout for Sunoco Go Rewards. 
keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Welcome back, everyone. We are into the second over here of the second innings. The Chicago Tigers are looking to chase down a target of 150 runs here. The new baller in from the Macy Ranch end is Surya Selvakumar for the Dallas Mustangs. And Charan Saiteja will be on strike here for the Chicago Tigers. Surya, a young, talented, uh, talented lad. See how he does. He's also a left time fast bowler to Sai Teja. It's always a delight to watch left time fast bowlers here in any format of the game. So here, let's see how Surya Selvakumar continues after that brilliant over from Nasir Jamali, the previous one. Here he comes, Surya to Sai Teja. Now on the offside, that'll be a dot ball. Good start here. As we can see, encouragement coming here from the stands here, from the fans out here at the Moosa Cricket Stadium. It was a good thing seeing Corey Anderson try the second over of the innings when the ball is still new to make him, you know, you know um, confident about himself. Here is Surya again. Trying to angle the ball away from the left-hander. Where we are bowled here. will be a dot ball here. Brilliant start here for the Dallas Mustangs so far. Not giving out any runs as much as they can. Great start for Dallas uh, Mustangs right now. Uh, Corey, we can see Corey Anderson has such good field placements. Has a slip in for Surya. And the experience we can see right now from Corey Anderson. Here comes Surya again. Saiteja trying to get off the. M He'll take a single there. He moves on to two runs. Brings Karan Kumar on strike. He'll be facing the left arm Surya now. What are, what are your thoughts on this contest here, Karan? Yeah, it's always good to see a left handed fast bowler bowling to a right handed batsman, you know. Right handed batsman. They ha there's like not a lot of left handed fast bowlers, so. It's always good to see how they adjust. Absolutely, Tarun. The right-hander especially, it's a task for him, especially when the left-hander bowler is coming left arm over. So here comes Surya now. Karan Kumar on strike. Oh, taken. Took him by surprise there. Again, good fielding. Another dot ball here for the Dallas Mustangs. There was a chance. Surya angling it into Karan Kumar. Just over um, Surya's head. It's a good ball at the end. Dallas Mustangs looking pretty confident so far. They came out with the purpose to not give out events, no loose balls, and it can be seen from the first two overs. Here is Surya again. Karan Kumar on strike. This time he hits on the full. Goes over the fielder, and that will be the first boundary of the Chicago Tigers innings. And it comes from Karan Kumar. No fielder out there in the long off region. There was a mid off in place, but it goes over the mid off region for four runs. Good boundary, and the Chicago Tigers are off the mark. Suri Atsman this time, but he was a confident lofted off drive over the mid off fielder and gets the result he wanted. Absolutely, Tarun. That can settle the nerves here for Karan now. He's off the mark. Moves on to four runs. He'll be facing the last ball of this over. Here comes Surya, racing in to Karan. Oh, well bowled there. Good finish to the over, Surya. After the end of two overs, the Chicago Tigers are six for no loss. We'll be back in a few seconds. पकते हुए महके और प्लेट पे क्या खूब खिले हां तेरे घर लाने का द 
sun is shining bright currently. It was not that much in the first innings with it being a cloudy in the conditions. So Nasir Jamali will continue here from the PLN end. Sai Teja on strike now. That's way down the leg side. Wide runs, wide signal here from the umpire. Good stop by the keeper, saving four runs for his team. It's always good to see, you know. The fielding of Dallas Mustangs so far has been really, really good. Saiteja and Karan would be looking to play out this power play and make sure they get a good target to have a go at, at the end of the innings. Here is Jamali. Down the leg side again, that will be another wide here. Changing his angle now, Jamali. As we saw in his previous over, he's, he was trying to angle it outside of the left-hander. This over is trying to go down the leg side here for the left-hander, Tarun. Yeah, we saw in the first over he was swinging the ball away from the left-handed batsman. This time, try, uh, changing his line here a little bit, still swinging it away, but just a little bit too much. Here comes Jamani now. Saiteja, well, well bowled there, but he couldn't connect the ball there. Hesitation between the two there. Just a little, little fumble by the mid-on fielder, and they take a run. So it'll be Karan Kumar on strike. It'll be good to see if Jamali can bring it into this right-handed batsman. So here comes Jamali bowling to Karan Kumar. Well bowled that cap load didn't bounce much. Again, that's some misfield there, but that didn't hurt much. They just be happy with the single. Bring Saiteja back on strike. Yeah, both the batters putting pressure on the fielders and taking some quick singles. Facing Jamali now. He's faced nine balls and scored three runs. Here he is. Down the leg side now, that'll be the third wide of this over here from Nasir Jamali. He doesn't look happy with himself now. Try to bowl a slower one um, on the pads of Saiteja, but a little bit too much down the leg side. Absolutely, in the Musa Stadium. People coming out in here to support the both teams here. So here is Saiteja. Jamali bowling again. Well bowled and very well played defensive shot there. A dot ball here for the Dallas Mustangs. That is the line Jamali would be looking for. That was a good ball to Saiteja. Defending the ball to extra cover fielder. Good comeback by Jamali. Exchange of words there. Saiteja still on strike. And that's been hit upish. The field is coming underneath, but it they won't be able to catch it. That goes for four runs here. Saiteja. He didn't connect it, but that reaches the fence here. Four runs here. First boundary for Saiteja in this innings. Didn't time it as well, Saiteja, but guess the result. It was a four couple of bounds for and it will settle some nerve for Saita. Absolutely. Nasir Jamali won't be happy with how the over is going. He hasn't settled at all in this over compared to his last one. Starting off with a couple of wides and now giving out a boundary here to Saiteja. He would be looking to finish strong here. He has two more balls to go in this over. Here comes Nasir Jamali. Saiteja on strike again. Fine straight to the fielder. Dot ball here. Another there, misfielding the back up there from the Dallas Mustangs. They are able to take another single now. Again, not, not a good Yeah. Yeah, the so 
Surya Selva Kumar will continue bowling from the messy ranch end. Charan Saiteja has faced 12 balls so far, scoring 8 runs. He'll be facing the youngster Surya. Here comes Surya. Left arm over the wicket. Aerial ball, and that's a call for a single. Good, quick single there, yeah. It was a good ball by Surya, swinging the ball away from Saiteja, but it's some good running and <coughs> good coordination between the batsmen. Absolutely, they seem to keep up that run rate, you know, at least be in that 6 to 7 runs per over mark in the power play. That what they're aiming for, it seems like currently. So Karan Kumar now on strike, he'll be facing Surya for the second ball of this over. Here comes Surya, facing him. Well ball and in between the field, they'll take a single. Saiteja back on strike. Suri angling the ball away from Karan this time and Karan just taps it towards third man for a single. These two batsmen have the abilities to take the game away from the Dallas Mustangs if they build a solid partnership not losing a wicket in the first few overs. Here see how their approach is. Here comes Surya now. Saiteja on strike. Very well bowled and very well late played there from South Asia. They'll take another single year. So far, run a ball year so far in this over. Brings Curran back on strike. Making sure it doesn't give the bowler enough room there. So they're able to keep rotating, rotating the strikes. Surya will be aiming to pick up a wicket in this over. Here he comes now. This current smartly played there and almost well fielded, but that should reach the fence here. Four runs here, four more runs. Karan Kumar has looked solid here so far. Karan Kumar showing his class. It was a good, confident shot off the back foot through the cover point field, uh, through the cover point and gets the maximum result of it. Four runs. Again, not trying to be fancy here. Just playing proper ground so shots here, Karan Kumar. He has played two beautiful drives here. Two more so far. Two more balls to go in this over Surya. He'll be looking to at least make a breakthrough here for the Dallas Mustangs. As that's what needed now. Here comes Surya now. Into the covers. There'll be just another single here. So last time when these two um, teams clashed against each other, Saiteja was one of the key players who scored 46 of just 33 balls, setting a huge target of 181. Absolutely, Darren. He'll be looking to build on that. That should give him some confidence in this game, making sure that this were the same opponents they played in that previous game. And Gary is facing Suya, coming for his last ball of the over. And that's been hit up in the air, not timed enough. The middle fielder coming in and he takes a good catch here. Big, big breakthrough here for the Dallas Mustangs. First wicket goes down, Surya picks up the wicket. After the end of four overs, the Chicago Tigers are 24 with the loss of one wicket.
Welcome back everyone. The Chicago Tigers have just lost their first wicket of the last one of the previous over. Surya Selva Kumar, as I mentioned, my fellow commentator Tarun mentioning how he was influential in the previous game when these two sides faced. And we can very well the commentators curse coming back in it here. Tarun. Well, yeah, you know, um, it is commentator's curse. Uh, I said that he scored a uh, well-played 46 last time, and then he just gets out the next ball. Absolutely, Darren. It brings the new batsman in. Seems like it's Sayed Sadali. He's in the attack. The Dallas Mustangs are going six runs per over, scoring 24 runs of their four. We'll bring the new bowler in for the Dallas Mustangs. It'll be... So a new bowler in the attack, Hussain Talat. Here he comes. Right arm round here. Well bowled here. Good start for Hussain Talat. Hussain Talat again a key bowler. <laughs> uh, last time against Chicago he did take three wicket, which was really, really good. Not good enough to um, make his team uh, win the game, but still he was the best bowler in that game. Absolutely, Tarun. The Dallas Mustangs player have been brilliant so far this whole season. And they'll be looking to make that count here, especially in this game against the arch rivals who are number two right now. Here comes Hussain. Sadali on strike. Pull, pulls it, and that should run away for four runs here. The fielder couldn't get there, and is off the mark. Sayed Sadali, his first boundary, and he's off the mark here for the Chicago Tigers, Tarun. Uh, Saad saw the deep score like fielder and saw the short ball coming just playing a little bit early and hits it through the wicket, deep mid wicket region. There was a big chase but the ball uh, won the race and it went for four. Absolutely, yeah. Sayed Sadali making sure, making the full use of the power play overs here. Only two fielders outside the circle. Just looking for the gaps here. Especially playing those ground shots. Here comes Hussain now. Right arm over this time. Well bowled and well played there from Saad. Saad has been one of the key batsmen for Dallas Mustangs. Uh, he has the ability to contain and also go big. So let's see what he does on the, his fourth ball. Here comes Hussain, running out here from the PLN end. Very well bowl and they'll take a single there. It will bring Karan Kumar on strike. The right hand, left hand combo still in attack here for the Chicago Tigers after the wicket of Saith Asia. It was a good ball by Hussein Talat and and Saad just taps it for a single. Some good running between the wickets by these two batters. Again, having a left and right hand combo is pretty good in the opening here for any, especially when you're bowling over the wicket for a right hander and over the wicket to a left hander in the very next ball. Here comes Hossein Talat now. This time Karan is on strike. And that's a good pull shot here. The fielder doing the chase, they'll be able to stop it, but they'll be able to take a couple of runs here. Two more runs for the Chicago Tigers. That was a beautiful shot. By by Karan and takes a couple of runs toward the weekend deep fine leg region. After facing ten deliveries, so he looks kind of settled now so far. Here comes Hussein for his last ball of the over. On the offside, beautiful square cut there from Karan Kumar. He finishes the over with a boundary. The Chicago Tigers move to 35 for one after the end of five overs we'll be back in a few seconds
Welcome back everyone. So we have the last over coming up for the power play. The Chicago Tigers, 5 overs, they have scored 35 runs. They'll be looking to make the full use of this last over. And it will be Nostush coming in here for the Dallas Mustangs from one end now. Nostush, he's a good campaigner, has been a good camp campaigner for the Dallas Mustangs this season. He finished up the innings in the batting thing when the Dallas Mustangs were playing. So he'll be looking to work his magic while bowling here for the Dallas Mustangs. Here is Nostush bowling to Sadali who's on strike right now. Very well bowled there from Nostush. There brings Karan Kumar on strike who scored a brilliant square cut boundary of that last over. He's been looking set so far Tarun. What do you think Karan Kumar's strategy is right now? I think Karan Kumar will be looking to go this over as it's the last over of the power play and get as many runs as possible. This field. Here is left thumb out of ducks bowling to Karan Kumar who's on strike. Oh, trying to be cheeky there. No saves to the non-runner there. So Prithvi, we have been talking about the left and right in combination for batting but what about bowling? Absolutely. So that brings some pressure back on the batsman as well. So they'll have to change their angles here. So here comes Nostrish. Again, there's we can. Oh, trying to be s a little too smart there, Karan Kumar. But Nostrish gets the better of him. Bowls him off. Clean bowl there. Karan Kumar will be back to the pavilion. Huge wicket here, Nostrish. A brilliant change here in the bowling here from the Dallas Mustangs. Karan. Karan Kumar trying to be a little bit too smart, but Nostrish. Just stay, sticks to his line and gets a big wicket. And he cleaned him up. Middle stump bowled. Absolutely, Tarun. Nostush has been amazing while batting. And now he's showing his bowling prowess here. A wicket of his first over. Getting the opener, Karan Kumar out. Who scored 17 runs up after facing 13 balls. At a strike rate of 130. The Chicago Tigers losing their second wicket. It brings in the new batsman for the Chicago Tigers is Marquez Ackerman who comes into the field. Marcus again is one of the batsmen if he uh, who if he sticks he goes big and he has been one of the most ruthless bat Chicago Tigers let's see how he goes today absolutely not absolutely Tarun he's another left-handed batsman so now we'll have two left-handed batsmen in the middle so no issue there for the bowlers now So Nostosh, left-handed orthodox, will be spinning the ball into the left-handed batsman. So let's see how he goes. So it's Nostosh. Marcus will be facing his first ball. Very well bowled there. The pitch here has been absolutely fantastic this whole season. The Musa Cricket Stadium and it, it, we can be we can see it as we are having some interesting contests over the past few weeks. Here is Nosh again. Trying the reverse sweep here, Marcus, but couldn't connect the ball here. Another dot ball here for the Sh Dallas Mustangs. Trying the reverse sweep, Marcus, early on. The second ball of his innings shows how confident he is. Didn't hit the ball, but still we can see how confident batsman he is. So here is the last ball of the power play coming off. Nosh tush. That was Marcus. Between the fielder, they'll take a single. So at the end of the power play, the Chicago Tigers are 37 for the loss of two wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds.
So we have another change in the bowling here. Sujit Gowda is the new bowler for the Dallas Mustangs now bowling. Marcus will strike here. It's the end of the power play. So there will be more failures outside the circle now. The Chicago Tigers will have to play cautious failures and not lose any wickets and get as close as possible to, to the target as possible now. They require about 113 runs of the last 14 overs here to win the game. So here comes Sujit Gowda bowling to Marcus Ackerman. It's a good change by Corey Anderson. Sujit Gowda is a right-handed off spinner spinning the ball away from the left-handed batsman. He has been the Mr. Dependable with the bat, but he has also been excellent with the ball for Dallas Mustangs. Here he comes, Sujit Gowda. Flights up the ball here. Well played and brilliant fielding there from the captain, Corey Anderson, leading up from the front here. Good fielding there. Well bowled by Sujit, spin, uh, trying to get the loop and spinning the ball away from the left-handed batsman here. Yes, Sujit, and that's been hit in over the top, and it goes, they not running after it. They'll be able to stop before the boundary, but two runs here for the Chicago Tigers. There was a chance there for the Dallas Mustangs, Tarun. It was a thick outside edge, went over the point fielder, just over his hands, and they take two there. Good bowling here from Sujit. He's been flighting up the ball really good here. Giving the batsmen to go for it, giving them the license to hit the ball. Here he comes, Sujit. Quicker one this time. Well bowled here. Dot ball here. Crucial dot ball. Good use of the arm ball by Sujit. Here is Sujit again. Mark is on strike, and that's a clean hit there. That should go all the way for six. A clean, clean hit there from the batsman, Marcus Ackerman here. Six runs, six crucial runs for the Chicago Tigers. Sujit Gaura won't be happy with that. Beg your pardon, there was Saad Ali on strike. Saad Ali with that beautiful six over dead mid wicket. Six runs there. Beautiful bag. Saad releasing some pressure off him. Going over the mid wicket, he was confident that he can hit the ball over the fielder and he did. It was a big shot at the end and gets the full result. Absolutely, that's the first six of the Chicago Tigers innings. So let's see how many more sixes we will see. So here's Sujit, a quick arm ball there again. In between the two fielders, they'll just take a single now. Good comeback by Sujit. It was a good ball outside off stump and Saad just taps it to sweeper cover for a single. Is Marcus facing the last ball of this Sujit. Flights out this time. Hits it straight to long on. There will be a single to finish the over. After the end of 7 overs, the Chicago Tigers are 48 for 2. My son, he's so soft spoken. Oh, oh yeah. Everyone says he's so good looking. And he never forgets to call. Hi, Mom. Born for your true self. The 2022 Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. So Nostush will continue from the messy wrench end. His bowling is second over. In his first over, he picked up a big wicket of Karan Kumar and giving her only two runs. Now he'll be bowling to Mark Ackerman who'll be on strike. So here comes Nostush. Flat it up again. Played it on the full toss, but just a single there for Marcus. He's rotating the strike, so Saad Ali takes the lead here, seems like, Tarun. Yeah, both the spinners are not scared to pitch the ball up and flight the ball. As he's coming in for a second ball of the over. Well bowl and there'll be another single. Smartly tapped there in the long on region. One more run added here to the Chicago Tigers score. 
it's good captaincy by Corey Anderson, you know, one of the bowlers who's bowling left arm orthodox is spinning the ball into the batsman and other from Sujit Goda spinning the ball away. Is Marcus Eckerman now? Oh, that might be out. And it is. Brilliant stumping there. Brilliant wicket keeping here from the Dallas Mustangs wicket keeper Ali Sheikh. Marcus Ackerman. He was trying to play across the line. Nostush can GK now. Uh, in the first innings, we saw how Sammy was bowling brilliantly, and now Nostush is giving him a brilliant reply here. This is Marcus Ackerman. Goes for four. It was a really good ball by by Nostosh spinning um pitching the ball up giving it some loop and Marcus plays the ball a little too early misses the ball completely and gets stumped it was some good piece of keeping at the end absolutely Tarun it seems like Marcus got trapped there from Nostosh and Nostosh again is showing his class here with his with the bowl as well it brings the new batsman in Sunny Bhatti who comes in for the Chicago Tigers Nostosh now is into his second over. He's replicating what Sammy did for the Chicago Tigers in his bowling. He has picked up his second wicket, Nostosh, just in his second over. So here he's bowling on to Sunny Bhatti, who will be facing his first ball of the innings. So for the left-handed bowler, Nostosh, Corey Anderson has a slip now as it's a right-handed batsman on, which will attack the outside edge of the batsman. Absolutely. Nostosh will be looking to build on this spell now. He has been absolutely tremendous here for the Dallas Mustangs. So he'll be bowling to Sunny Bhatti. Nostosh did deliver with the bat. Now he's delivering with the ball. Here comes Nostosh. Very well bowl and Sunny Bhatti, a good defensive shot there. Straight goes to the captain, Corey Anderson. Nostosh, back on it. Here's Nostosh again. Ball, making sure he's finishing the over strong after picking up that wicket. This is the 8 over of the innings here for the Chicago Tigers. They managed to score 50 runs. Here's the last ball coming up, Nostosh. Sunny Bhatti, well played. Hesitation, but they'll decline the single. So after the end of eight overs, Chicago Tigers are 50 for the loss of three wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. So Hussein Talat comes back into the attack. He was a pretty expensive first over here, giving out 11 runs. So we have two batsmen in for the Chicago Tigers, Sunny Bhatti, the new batsman who came in in the last over, and Saad Ali, who has been dependent so far, scoring a boundary and a six after facing 10 balls. He'll be the main guy here for the Chicago Tigers to take them over the line. So Hussein Talat will be bowling to the set batsman, Saad Ali, coming in from the PLN end. Yes, Hussain Talad, a good bouncer there, trying the pull shot, but that's a dot ball, crucial dot ball here for the Dallas Mustangs. Good slower bouncer by Hussain Talad, and Saad had no idea that it was a slower ball. It's the ball a little too early, but misses it completely. 
Absolutely, the Dallas Mustangs now looking to keep it tight, not give any loose boundaries or any loose balls which they can hit for fours here. Sadali, he'll be looking, he'll have some strategy going on in his head how to get over the line here. So here he is facing Hussein Talat. Another bouncer here. It goes straight to deep square leg. They'll just be happy with a single. Brings the new batsman Sunny Bhati on strike. Will be facing Hussein Talat for the first time. Yeah, the field is set for a bouncer, and they only get one run of that ball. Absolutely, then, as you mentioned, the bouncer is the strategy here from the Dallas Mustangs. Let them play the pull shot, so at least they find the fielder in the deep there on the leg side. As we can see, there is another deep square leg here for Sunny Bhatti as well. So Hussain Talal will be bowling right arm over here to Sunny Bhatti. He has a sweeper cover in, a fine leg and a third man with a deep square leg and a long on. Here comes Hussain, racing round up around the off. Well bowl and there'll be a quick single here. Again, good running here, Chicago Tigers, making sure they take at least and keep rotating the strikes between the two batsmen out there. Good running between the wickets. The ball went on the l left side of the fielder, which is uh, the non-dominant side, and they take full advantage of it running a quick single. It has been a good tight over here from Hussain Talat. Brings Saad on strike who has scored 17 runs of 12 balls. Here he is facing Hussein. Down the leg side, again that same strategy for the left-hander, but this races away to the boundary. Good four runs here for Saad Ali. That will make him a little more confident here in the run chase. Slower bouncer again from Hussein Talat, but Saad knew that it's a slower bouncer. He waited, waited, waited long enough and hits it over the fine leg fielder for a four. Absolutely, Tarun. As we can see, the first two balls and then this ball to the left-hander. He's trying to bowl it short. Let the player, let the batsman play the short ball. So uh, that's the strategy going uh, up here, here. What do you think of Corey Anderson's strategy here, Tarun? Yeah, Corey Anderson is looking for um, short balls as the field field is set, but Saad is good enough to find gaps anyways. Here comes Hussain again, Saad on strike. There you go, another short ball. This time it finds the fielder in the deep now. Keeps down to a single. Again, we can see that same strategy being used on the left-hander here. That's the plan Corey Anderson is looking for. Um, and Hussain was a beautiful bouncer this time, straight on his helmet, and he hits it straight to... Deep square leg for just one run. Saad Ali has moved on to 22 runs of 14 deliveries, while Sunny Bhatti, after facing four balls, has scored a single run. He'll be looking to get in the action as well, Sunny Bhatti. Here comes Hussain Talat for his last ball of this over. Another short ball, this time the right-hander, and that's a wide given from the umpire. That was way over the head here of the batsman. A good call there from the umpire. That was a good ball by Hussein Third, but it just goes over the batsman's head. A little too over the batsman, and it's a good decision by the square leg umpire. Absolutely, Tarun. And as we can see, the umpiring has been top class so far this match, you know. The poll, their decisions, and everything has been superb so far. Again, great umpiring here. So here comes Hussain, last ball of the over. A late square cut there. They'll take a single. Sunny Bhatti will keep the strike for the next over. After after the end of nine overs, Chicago Tigers are 58 for three. We'll be back in a few seconds. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best.
So we'll, here we have a new bowler in for the Dallas Mustangs. It will be Adnan Harun who will be showing his progress here with the ball. He'll be the sixth bowler that will be used for the Dallas Mustangs. So we can say they have a variety of bowling options in their attack, Tarun. Absolutely, you know. Have, and ha he has been a wicket taking bowler for Dallas Mustangs since the start of the season. Yes, as we can see, Sunny Bhatti will be on strike. He'll be facing Adnan Harun here, who will be bowling from the Messi ranch end. Adnan Harun will be looking to keep it tight and bowl his leg spin here to Sunny Bhatti. Here is Adnan Harun, his first ball coming up of the spell. Very well bowled here, finds the fielder, but they'll sneak a single there. Brings the inform batsman Saad Ali on strike. It was some good fielding by the point fielder. It went hard towards his left, but he stops it, only giving them one run, saving three runs for his team. So here's a leg spinner now. He'll be bowling to the left handed batsman. So the ball would be mostly coming in un unless he bowls a googly. So here comes Adnan Harun. Very well played there, over the top. A beautiful shot there from Saad Ali. He's looking in absolute sublime touch here. Four runs here for him and the Chicago Tigers. Beautiful shot there, Tarun. That was a really, really confident shot. That was not a good ball. Uh, that was a really, really good ball, but just a beautiful shot. Absolutely gorgeous timing there from Saad Ali. He looks like a man on a mission here. Here comes Adnan now. Again, smart batting now. Flicked on the leg side where there are no fielders, but they'll just be happy with a single. Making sure they are at least rotating the strike as well. Yeah, the rotation of the strike will be the key with um, boundary opportunities every over. Sunny Bhatti now facing the leg spinner. Well played there. Well bowled. They'll take a single now. Sunny Bhatti moves on to four runs. Saad Ali currently batting on 27 of 16 balls. He has hit in three boundaries and hit in a gorgeous six so far. It looks like Sunny is just trying to give strike to Saad as Saad is looking in a really good touch here, you know, middling the ball. Some big sixes. Here comes Adnan. Flied it and a sweep shot there. Well bored and super fielding there from the Dallas Mustangs team. No runs there. Crucial dot ball here, especially for Adnan Harun. Saving four runs for his team, the fine leg fielder. It was a good stop. Here's the last ball of the over coming up. Adnan Harun gives him some space on the offside. He'll take a single and keep the strike for the next over, Sadali. After the end of 10 overs, Chicago Tigers are 67 for the loss of 3 wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Welcome back everyone from the Musa Cricket Stadium here in PLN, Texas. We are halfway through the second innings. The Chicago Tigers have scored 67 runs. So they require about 83 runs of the last 10 overs. So that's going about 8.3 runs per over. And they have 7 wickets in hand. Currently the informed batsman Saad Ali is on strike. He scored 28 runs. He'll be facing Surya Huli bowling left arm over the wicket here. 
variable and there'll be a quick single there for Sadali. It will bring Sunny Bhatti on strike who will win this match. Surya angling the ball into Saad and it was a really really good ball but good running between the wickets by the batsmen. Absolutely, Surya will be bowling his third over of the spell. He has gone for 13 runs and picked up a wicket. So here he is, will be bowling to Sunny Bhatti, the right-hander batsman. Here comes Surya. Very well bowled there. Finds the fielder, a dot ball there the Dallas Mustangs. It was a confident drive by Saad, um, I beg your pardon, by Sunny. We went straight to the field and no run there. Here comes Surya again, Sunny on strike. Very well bowl and very well fielded there from the captain Corey Anderson, another dot ball. Something to note here is Surya. If you know Surya also means sun and Sunny with the batsman, he has sun in his name too. So it's we have a synonym going on over here. Sun Sun. So let's see which sun comes up on top. So here comes Surya now, bowling to Sunny again. Comes down the track. Again another dot ball. Brilliant bowling here from Surya. Surya currently showing the upper hand in this over here against Sunny. Three confident drives by Sunny against Surya but they all went straight to the field that will, will not make him feel good you know. He's middling the ball nicely time well, but not getting the result he wants. Absolutely. This keeps the required run rate going up now as much as long balls they're playing. Dot balls they're playing. Here comes Surya now. Brilliant over so far. Again uh, swing and a miss. Dot ball. Four dot balls in a row Surya. Looking to finish strong. Good use of the slower ball here by Surya and Sunny just swings his bat way too early, misses the ball completely and it which puts pressure on him. It's four dots in a row. Sunny Bhatti hasn't settled down yet. He has faced 11 balls, just scored four runs so far. Here is the last ball coming up of the 11th over. Surya again, a brilliant spell and a brilliant over this one. Here is last ball of the over. Well bowled and he'll just take a single to keep the strike, Sunny. After the end of 11 overs, Chicago Tigers are 69 for 3. We'll be back in a few. What is the Lakshmi Basmati Rice? Ko ghar ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. This is the dana ho itna lamba, pakte hue mehke, aur plate bake ya khoop khile. Ha, mere ghar lane ka. Welcome back everyone. So it seems like Adnan Harun will be continuing his spell from the Messi ranch end. He'll be bowling to the right-hander Sunny Bhatti who struggled in the last over was not able to score runs or rotate strike here with Saad Ali who has been absolutely brilliant so far for the Chicago Tigers in the batting perspective. So here comes Adnan Harun the leg spinner bowling on to Sunny Bhatti who's on strike. The required run for Chicago Tigers is 9. They need 81 and 9 overs. So here comes Adnan Harun. The leggy now. Sunny on strike. Fly it again. Very well bowled again. 
again sunny has been taking up some dot balls there chicago tigers it's it won't help them much they'll be looking for some more boundaries now in the coming overs here com comes down the track and it should dissect the two fielders finally a welcome boundary here for the chicago tigers and sunny bhati four crucial runs and they're on the go now tarun Sunny showing some aggression here, stepping down the track and hits over Corey Anderson, who's at extra cover for four. That was a, a nice shot at the end. Absolutely, a good positive intent shown here from Sunny Bhati now. Adnan Harun, leg, bowling the leg break. Here he is. Of that sweeper cover, it'll be just be a single now. Bring Saad Ali on strike. That was a welcome boundary, Tarun. Especially if they, when they require about nine runs per over. Yeah, it was a good shot. You know, that will give Sunny some confidence. And after a four, giving a single to the dangerous-looking Saad now. Here comes Adnan. Saad on strike, and he smacks it on the leg side. That will be another single. So the runs keep on coming fast. Thick and fast now in this over for them. Six runs so far in this over and four balls. Two more balls to go for Anand Harun and Sunny is on strike. Here comes Sunny, and that's trying for the reverse sweep. It hit the top edge. It seems like it'll just be a single. Again, trying to be a little cheeky there, Sunny Bati. He seems to like. To accelerate the innings now, you know, after realizing they need about nine runs per over, so here they go. Spring sad on strike for the last ball of the over. It looks like Sunny is finding legs uh, to hit against Lexman a little bit easier than fast bowlers. Here's the last ball of the over. What a shot coming down the track. The long on fielder takes it. That was, that's a brilliant catch in the deep. The danger is looking sadly. Has to depart. That's the fourth wicket down for the Chicago Tigers after the end of 12 overs. They are 76 for four. We'll be back in a few seconds. Welcome back everyone. So that was a crucial wicket here. Saad Ali was picked up in the long run region by the Dallas Mustangs here in the previous over. More specifically it was Ali Sheikh who picked up that catch in the long run region. It brings in the new batsman in that is the captain of the Chicago Tigers Calvin Savage in the middle. So it will be Surya who will be looking to finish off his spell. He has bowled three overs gone for just 15 runs and picked up a crucial wicket so here is Surya this time bowling to Sunny Bhati who's on strike Surya coming in from the PLN end well played on the offside just one sweeper cover there on the offside for Sunny Bhati and they're able to take a couple runs here it was a good draw, uh, square drive by Sunny for a couple of runs good running between the wickets and Looks like Surya will be looking to pull a economical over here and finish off his spell. Absolutely. Surya has been absolutely tremendous. You know, he'll be looking to finish it off currently 
as well. Here he is bowling to Sunny. Sunny comes down the track, but very well bowl, very well change of length there from Surya. Just a single now. Surya saw him coming down the track and changed his line and length uh, and minimizing the score just to one run. Here we can see Farhan coming and giving some words of wisdom here to Surya how to bowl. Especially to this new batsman, the captain, Calvin Savage, who's out in the middle now. He'll be facing his first ball from... Calvin Savage is the batsman who can go and hit from... Well bowled and Calvin, well played there. Straight to the fielder. Good confident drive. It goes straight to the fielder, no run there, Calvin Savage. He will be looking to get set in like these couple of balls and then go for the um, bowlers. Absolutely, Tarun. He'll be looking to stay till the end. Hopefully, the Chicago Tigers don't lose any more wickets. So here comes Surya to Savage. Well bowl again. Super bowling shown here from Surya. Selva Kumar so far in this match. He has been absolutely spot on with his bowling. Really good ball by Surya. Uh, Calvin Savage gets the under edge, but it misses everything. Again, a beautiful day out here to play a game of cricket, especially between these two teams. Here is Surya again. A very well bowled Yorker there. Well played from Savage as well. Unexpected Yorker by Surya. Bowling, um... Back uh, three back of length balls and then just bringing in a Yorker. I think it was his first Yorker off his spell and it was it came out the right time. Beautiful ball, three dot balls in a row for Calvin Savage. This has been an absolutely magical spell from Surya so far. Here is his last ball coming up to Savage. A brilliant finish to his spell and the over. The Chicago Tigers, after the end of 13 overs, are 79 for the loss of 4 wickets. We'll be back in a few. So Adnan Harun, who has been absolutely brilliant from the Messi range and is going to continue his third over in a row. He'll be bowling to Sunny Bhati, who will be the current set batsman after Saad Ali was taken out of that previous over. So here's Adnan Harun, the leg, leg break bowler, bowling to Sunny Bhati. He has a long on and long off in place with a deep mid wicket and a deep square leg. Here is Adnan Harun. Very well bowled and that finds the gap. A very well played cut there. Very well played there from Sunny Bhatti. Four runs here. Good start to the over for the Chicago Tigers. Sunny finding the gap between point and third man. So it was a beautiful shot by him. And it looks like he's finding spin a little bit easier to this over and get as many runs as possible. Yeah, scoring a boundary of the first ball of the over all, always unsettles the bowler here. So let's see what Adnan Harun comes up with of the second ball here. Sunny Bhatti moves on to 18 runs of 19 balls. So here is Adnan. Very well bowled here. They'll just take a single there of that ball. Brings the captain Savage on strike. It will be interesting to see what Savage does against Anand Harun. You know, the ball is spinning away from him and he has already faced four dot balls in his um, innings so far. Absolutely, Tarun. It seems like Savage would like to give some support to Sunny Bhatti. But yes, absolutely, Tarun. Savage will be looking to give support here to Sunny Bhatti who has been tremendous providing runs from one end especially against Harun. So here is Harun now. Get Adnan Harun here, Tarun. Calvin Savage is bringing back his confidence with that reverse sweep 
And what a shot that was. The placement was away from the third man fielder and it went for four. And it went like a bullet actually. At the moment it felt it went straight to third man but we realized the third man was not in place. So very well played shot there from Savage here. Here is Adnan Harun. He'll be looking to pitch it up you know. There he goes. Flights again. Another reverse sweep and it will be the same result here. Four more runs to Savage. Four more runs added to the Chicago Tigers. And they are bringing that run rate down here in this over. Chicago Tigers. Absolutely, Tarun. He's leading from the front here. Two reverse sweeps. The same results of both the balls. Adnan Harun won't be happy with this over at all. To the fielder. Again, this is smart betting from Savage. Chicago still needs 57 runs and six. But Calvin Savage is looking in a good touch here. So let's see how it goes. Absolutely. That's the beauty of T20 cricket here. We can't predict anything. But anything can happen at any time. So let's see which team comes out on top at the end. But for the viewer's point, pure point of view. Jamali comes into the attack here. Nasir Jamali, he has two more overs to go. He has bowled two overs, went for 11 runs. So he'll be looking for a breakthrough, especially a big partnership is brewing between Calvin Savage and Sunny Bhatti. Sunny Bhatti, after facing 20 balls, has scored 19 runs. While on the other hand, the captain, Savage, is batting on 9 runs of his 8 balls he has faced. Racing through, Savage on strike. It hits a big six over the side screen. It has gone miles. Chicago Tigers are trying to get back into the game now. Calvin Savage, especially last two, he should be looking for something on the. It's for full toss, but it was a good ball. Giving only one run. Absolutely best to take out the wickets. So it's like Sunny Bhatti on strike, who seems like hasn't played a ball after Calvin Savage is going for it. So he's trying to give the strike back to him, Tarun. Who is looking very dangerous here. And also the. So here's Jamali, Savage, going at a strike rate of 160 towards the long off fielder. So for your runs point of view, they would require both these batsmen to stay till the end. So let's see how this game unfolds. Here comes Nasir Jamali. Well bowled. Sunny here and. Welcome, Bhavajan. Sunny Bhatti are out there. But now the Dallas Mustangs hoping they're bringing their trump card in, that is Nostush, who has bowled two overs, only given out four runs, and picked up two crucial quick single. So 23 runs going at almost 200. Currently, and now Savage taking his own sweet time as well. Here comes Nost. So good single there. Two runs of the first. So far by Nostosh. He has been looking really, really good here. And he wants to win today. Here he is now. Sunny Bhatti on strike this time. From the fielder. And that has been a brilliant catch. At a point, it seemed like it's going to go for six, but that was a brilliant one-handed effort there. 
Brilliant catch that has to be seen on replay there. Ali shaking the deal. A good fielder so far for Dallas Mustangs and gets a one headed catch. This has been never seen before. Sunny Bhatti goes for a well made 22. Sunny Bhatti has to come back to the pavilion. Ali Sheikh taking the So the new batsman in is Prithvish Patel now. So this game is getting exciting now. We have four more overs to go, 4.3 overs to go. Big wicket of Sunny Bhatti now. So brings Prithvish Pat Patel on in the field now. So Nostosh now, he'll be bowling to Savage since the batsman cross. So this game is getting exciting every single ball here, Tarun. Absolutely. As Nostosh comes in to Calvin Savage on the in the covers they'll take a single brings Prithvish Patel the new batsman on strike now don't go anywhere folks we have an exciting match coming up an exciting end to this game and again Nostosh the breakthrough bowler has done it again third wicket for him this innings here is his last ball of the over Prithvish Patel and he bowls him off, cleans him off, another weekend. Dallas Mustang sends. So after the end of 16 overs, Chicago Tigers are 112 for the loss of 6 wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. Welcome back guys, so it has been exciting now, we have the last 4 overs coming out of this match and this game is going in the deep end any, any time. 2 wickets of the last over from Nostosh has brought the game back into Dallas Mustangs hand. So the Chicago Tigers now in their 4 overs, they need 38 runs to win, that is about 9.5 runs per over. That's still doable but they don't have much wickets and the only saving grace for Chicago Tigers right now is Savage. So as long as Savage is out there in the field, Chicago Tigers can think and feel they have something and they can get something out of this game. So Savage will be on strike. Hussain Talat will come back into the attack. Hussain Talat, he has bowled two overs. Has been a pretty expensive one. Went for 20 runs. So let's see if he can make a comeback here, Hussain Talat, and bring Dallas Mustangs in the game. What are your thoughts on this, Tarun? How's the game going? Yeah, the game is in anyone's favor now. Uh, Calvin Savage is the his wicket. Once they take Calvin Savage's wicket, it's really hard for Chicago to come back. Absolutely. After the wicket of Prithvish Patel, of he got a golden duck getting out of the first ball. We have Sammy Sohail, who picked up six wickets on strike. Oh, Bozen! What a turn of events here for the Dallas Mustangs! This game has turned on its head. That is 
the third wicket in the space of four balls and Dallas Mustangs are coming back strong. The dangerous looking captain, Chicago Tigers captain Calvin Savage has to go back to the pavilion and this is dire circumstances for the Chicago Tigers now. Tarun, this is something of a game here. Hussein Talat, the experienced campaigner for Dallas Mustangs, comes in after a break and the first ball he bowls to Calvin Savage, he gets him. Now Dallas are again on top and took four wickets. Absolutely, Tarun. I think the nostrils over was the turning point of this game. At a point we thought before the nostrils over that the Chicago Tigers are looking good, you know, to finish the game. But nostrils again, big, big credit to Corey Anderson for bringing nostrils at the right time. Nostrils picking up those two wickets of that over and turning the inside out completely opposite here. And now the Dallas Mustangs have the upper hand in this game and keep that top spot here if they win this on the central division table. The young lad Mitan is in who can also clear the boundary for sixes but how much pressure is he in? Yeah, a lot of pressure moments. The batsmen, the fielders, the bowlers, so everyone. This is going, going to be an exciting end guys. Please stay on. So here comes Hussain Talat. The youngster Mitanj Nithyandam will be on strike. The equation right now, 38 needed of 23 balls. Game still on. Here comes Hussain. Well bowled here. The inexperience shown here from Mitanj. And Hussain Talat on the other hand showing his wealth of experience. Very well used uh, slower ball here by Hussein Talat, and it's a just it's a dot ball, and Sammy just going to talk to Matanj, giving giving some confidence to the young lad. Dot balls is basically a wicket here for Dallas Mustangs. So as long as they keep bowling dot balls, they are moving closer to that win. Here comes Hussein now, right arm over, new batsman Matanj on strike. On the offside, well bowled, super blind, super blend, making sure not enough room if they want to hit, just hit on the offside. Super bowling here from Hussein. Again, a slower ball by Hussein Talat here. He's showing full experience, and the run rate for Chicago Tigers goes over 10 now, almost 11. Absolutely, Tarun. Now the game is turning into Dallas Mustangs' favor now. Chicago Tigers stumbled in the last two overs. Brilliant bowling here from the Dallas Mustangs. Here comes Hussein again now. He'll be looking to bowl the similar line and length like the previous ball. Yes, Hussein. He comes down the track. The umpire signals are wide. He'll have to re-bowl that again, Hussein. Absolutely, Darun. Umpiring, again, as we mentioned, has been top-notch here by the two umpires out there in the field, especially of that catch by Ali Sheikh in the, f in the boundary region. That was a big, big decision and a big turning point of the game. Again, we are having an exciting game. The pitch, the ground, the facilities have been absolutely top-notch here in the Musa Cricket Stadium. So here comes Hussain Talat, bowling to Mitan, right arm over. Another dot ball. Dallas Mustangs will be happy with how it is going so far in this over, Tarun. Again, a slower one to Mitanj, and the game is just going away from Chicago's hands here, and only a miracle can save them. Absolutely, again, and we can give full credit here to Corey Anderson's captaincy here. He, the change of bowling has worked for him in the last three overs. So that has pretty helped the Dallas Mustangs come back in the game. So two more balls to go in this over. Hussein looking to finish strong. And Chicago Tigers would like to have some runs off the board of this over. Here is Hussein again. On the outside, straight to the field. That will just be a single. Just a single on that one and just two runs so far of this over and it's Sammy Suhail 
who took a 6 for in the first innings is on strike now. Sammy has a lot of responsibility in his hands now. He'll be looking to finish off the innings for Chicago Tigers, but it feels a little too far. So let's see how he approaches here. Last ball of the 17th over coming up. Yeah, so San and Sammy will take a single and keep the strike for the next over. After the end of 17 overs, the Chicago Tigers are 115 for the loss of 7 wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds. So the bat and now the magician with the ball for the Dallas Mustangs. He's on to his fourth over now. He has picked up four wickets, just giving out seven runs. So he'll be looking to finish strong here, Nostush. He'll be bowling to Sammy Sohail, who picked up six wickets again. So it's an even contest right now in the middle. So here comes Nostush. Left arm round spin orth orthodox. Sammy on strike. On the leg side, that's an appeal. The umpire doesn't seem interested. But they sneak a leg by her. That was a fair enough call that might be missing the Lustosh again. Beautiful ball by Nastosh. It was a big appeal, but it was slightly down leg. And how good Nastosh has been today. He has been beautiful with the bat and the ball so far. Absolutely. Having an economy of less than three in a T20 game is absolutely top notch it takes the game to you is again and that's been flicked on the up the fielders are converting deep mid wicket region and they'll be able to take a couple Nostush won't be happy and so will be other Dallas Mustang players that was a golden opportunity here to finish the game off here for the Chicago Tigers Nostush will be a little bit disappointed you know that if the fielder caught that a deep mid wicket it would have been his fifth wicket but Unfortunately, the ball goes down. Love to see another 5 for here for Nostosh if that catch was taken. But nonetheless, again, brilliant bowling from Nostosh. Here is Nostosh. And that's been smacked again. This time the fielder coming in. This time again. So that's a 5 for finally Nostosh. Again, Nostosh in the fray. A big, big wicket. That should be the end of Chicago Tigers' chase here. But they still have a couple wickets to go. But it's still the confidence is going down now. Nostush picking up his fifth wicket. And what do you think, Darun? It's been a collapse here in the last three overs. Absolutely, Nostush. He's batting well, bowling well. Also saved a couple of boundaries for his team. Magnificent overall performance for him from him. And now, let's see what he does in the last two balls of his. Mitansh, Abhimanyu Poswal in the deep square leg region, picking up that catch. Nostush picking up his fifth wicket, just giving out nine runs again, has been absolutely brilliant so far. So two more wickets to go for Chicago Tigers. Three more balls to go. Well, we never know. Nostush, he still has a chance to pick up. Pick on. If he gets a hat-trick today, it will be the best match he has probably ever played. Absolutely, Tarun. This has been a bowler's paradise, this game. We saw Sammy Sohail in the first innings, and now Nostush Kenjige in the second innings. Brilliant bowling display by both these players here for their respective teams. So, three more balls to go. The new batsman is Ranadeep Alethi, who will be on the non-strikers end since they crossed. So, here's Nostush. He's bowling to Sammy. Who'll take a single on the offside? Brings the new batsman Rana on strike now. Two more balls to go, Nostush. Two balls left in the Nostush spell. He has been so good so far, 
3.3 overs, only giving 9 runs and taking 5 wickets economy of only 2.6. Here is bowling to Rana. Well bowled and Rana well played. Last ball coming up for Nostush's amazing smell. He's just gone for 10 runs, picked up 5 wickets in his almost 4 overs. Here he goes, last ball. Comes down the track, there's a fielder coming in and that's a 6 for Guess say what? That's the second six four of the game. Nostush, the magician, he picks up six wickets. Ninth wicket down for the Chicago Tigers. After the end of 18 overs, they are 119 for the loss of nine wickets. We'll be back in a few seconds for the last two overs. Welcome back everyone. So Nostush finished up his 4 over spell. He scored, He went for just 10 runs and picked up 6 wickets. Yes, 6 wickets in a T20 game. Just like how Sammy Sohail for the Chicago Tigers did in the first innings. Chicago Tigers, they have lost 9 wickets. And they require about 31 runs of the last 2 overs. It seems way out of hand here for the Chicago Tigers. Right Tarun? Absolutely, Dallas are in the game and seeing two six fours in one match in a one in one T Twenty matches, and it's absolutely amazing to watch. Absolutely great to be part of the game here. Here, hopefully our viewers enjoyed this game. So let's see, it'll be Hussein Talat looking to finish off the innings here and picked up that last wicket. Here he is bowling to Sammy. The last batsman in for the Chicago Tigers is Okari Sims. He is currently on the non-striker's end. So 11 balls to go. The Chicago Tigers need 31 runs of those 11 balls. And it seems like Sammy Sohail would be the main guy they would be looking to depend on. The ask is next to impossible when, you know, it's just one wicket left for your team. Here comes Hussain racing in. Sammy Sohail on strike. A bouncer changing his line and length, but he's really good at bowling those bouncers, Hussain Talat. We have seen a lot of short balls by Hussain Talat here, and the umpire is going to check if the batter is alright, you know. It's also good to see the other team coming up and asking if the batter is alright. That shows the spirit of the game and why we all love this game so much. Made there. Spirit of the game, you know, the team's coming in, players coming in, converging, making sure there's no issues of for any concussions or any sorts of things like that. But good, good player, good sportsmanship here from both sides. Hussein Teller to bowl the third ball off is over. Still, they'll need 31 runs to win. Sammy Sohail will be looking to hit something out of the park here if Chicago have a chance. But they are only one wicket to go. So here comes Hussain. A slower one this time that's been smacked down the long off region, but he picks it up just a single. It brings Sims on strike, the last batsman for the Chicago Tigers out in the middle. Chicago Tigers would like to finish this game as quickly as possible, you know, before the 20 over mark just to get a little bit of a little bit better net run rate for the overall tournament. Absolutely turn on qualifying knockout stages if you have similar points at the end of the group stage. So let's see how Hussein finishes off. He'd like to get Sims out and finish the game for the Dallas Mustangs.
has tied down here to chase that target. How many times have we seen Hussein Tala to bowl that slow? So good today. Those, and looks like he is short at his run up. Yeah, he's like he's in a hurry to go home and get the win. I guess he'll have to bowl that again. That didn't help. Yeah, it looks like he's a little bit the energy of the players will, but this. Here is Hussain again with the shorter run up. Two more balls to go. Short. They have seven balls to reach that, which seems impossible at this moment. There's a full toss one. The keeper misses it. The batsmen are not interested to run, so that'll be the end of the over. Up in a few seconds. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your... So it will be Nasir Jamali for the Dallas Mustangs to finish off this innings and the match. They Chicago Tigers required 29 runs of the last over and they only have the last two batsmen out there which is Sammy Sohail currently on strike with Okari Sims on the other hand. So 29 runs of 6 balls. Let's see how this goes. Dallas Mustangs seems like they have the win in their pocket. Jamali to bowl the last over and let's see what he does. Left handed fast bowler. Here he comes, Nasir Jamali to Sami Sohil. Sami comes down the track and he's smacked. But the fielder in the deep mid wicket covers it. Two more runs and that should be out. Yes, it is. Okari Sims didn't ground it the bat. And that's the end of the match. A big win here for the Dallas Mustangs. Chicago Tigers are bowled out for 122 runs. A brilliant, brilliant performance from Noshtush Kenjige. In his four overs, he picked up six wickets, just giving out 10 runs. And the uh, Dallas Mustangs ultimately win the game by 27 runs. Big, big win that keeps them top of the table. While Chicago Tigers stay on the second spot, they will be looking to finish off their group stages with wins so they can qualify for the knockout stages. Tarun, what an exciting game we have witnessed today. It was a really, really good match. You know, the match was good. Chicago Tigers when the captain Calvin Savage came in but what a bowling by Nastosh get picking up six the first match and then Dallas comes and wins the second it has been a beautiful beautiful outing today and thank you for joining us thank you everyone and we hope you tune tune in, tune in live for us tomorrow as well from the Moosa Cricket Stadium a big game com big day coming up for two games out here so thank you everyone for joining two overs. Here is Surya again. Karan Kumar on strike. This time he hits on the full. Goes all of the over. What a shot coming down the track. The long on fielder takes it. That was, that's a Here is Adnan Harun. Very well bowled and that finds the gap. A very well laid square. So here is Harun now. He'll be looking to pitch it up you know. There he goes. Flights again. Another reverse sweep and it will be the same in the block hole and that's been connected hard from Savage. That's gone. Here is Jamali. There you go. The slot again and that's gone. Here is Sunny Bhadi on strike. This time fly at Sunny Bhadi. Ground and a good effort there. From Here the is his last ball of the over. Pratwish Patel. And he bowls him off, cleans him off. And what a turn. Here he is again. And that's been flicked on the up. The fielders are converging. And that's been dropped out in the. Here he is, Nostush. And that's been smacked again. This time the fielder coming the in. Five wickets in his almost four overs. Here he goes, last ball. Comes down the track. There's a fielder coming in. And that's a fielder in the deep mid wicket. Covers it. Two more runs and that should be out. Yes, it is. 
Ogari Sims did it. You're watching the Toyota Minor League Cricket Champion.